Thank you all for joining us once again as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. I'm Woo. Sean Parr. I've got over here to my right the Jurgies, Nellie and Bryce. Great to have you with us. Good to be here. Family weekend again. Week number eight already, you guys. You know what? I love family week every week. Yeah, you know? of right. course you I'll do. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got uh, Nellie. Nellie is over here. Uh, Renee and Sean, the Tilbys, good to see you guys. Great got the family out with us again. The frozen tundra yes. of the United of States Canada. of America or right now, right? Like Canada, it's Kansas, right? <laughs> yeah, we're in Kansas right now. When, when our crew arrived here, it was uh, minus 17 degrees. We were in Minnesota so last cold. week. We got down to minus 30. But listen, we keep trekking on. That's what this tour is all about, so we can bring you the best vehicles possible. You know what's amazing, guys? And uh, Sean, you'll certainly appreciate this. We had over two and a half million people oh my tune in Woo! last week alone. So awesome. Right? So awesome. Yeah, and we've got a lot to get to today. Uh, Bryce, we were talking about frozen doors and oh slide outs and things like that. Yeah, on our journey here from west to here. Yeah, we had an antifreeze in our toilet, you know, and in our black and gray tank. It froze. And it's rated to negative 50. So with the wind chill and everything, froze in the toilet bowl. It was we feel you guys. We hope you're all warm right yeah. now. Definitely. We've got some scientists from NASA going to be checking out the frozen antifreeze, and uh, we'll get that to the bottom of that. But <laughs> we had battery issues that we're going to cover. Uh, we're going to talk about winterizer. We're going to talk yes. about when it gets this cold, because a lot of the states that we are visiting and the places that we have been have never seen temperatures like this. But listen, over 12 million strong so far. We're going to get this week started, and I love this. The brilliant bunkhouse RVs, guys. We are love starting them. with the ones that uh, you guys have. Yes, we love having a bunk house. Being able to have the space for the kids, being able to have their own room, it's amazing. Now, Ian is going to kick things off for us, and I love this particular unit because this is the Dutchman Atlas with the double kitchen slide-outs. Take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in week eight of the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, and as you can see, it is stinking cold this week, folks. I am here in Kansas, and when I woke up this morning, it was negative 13 degrees with like negative 23 with wind chill. So as you can imagine, it's a little chilly, but that's not going to stop us. We have a ton of RVs to show you. We have an awesome week and we are kicking it off right with some big, beautiful, bountiful, but something else that starts with a B, bunk houses. <laughs> so here you go, guys. Uh, this one right here is the Atlas. 3342BHF, and I absolutely love this floor plan. So cold, my lips aren't working. Um, but for a couple different reasons. One, we get dual opposing slides right in here. That opens it up and gives us an island right in the kitchen. Also, we have seating uh, directly across from the entertainment center, which I love. And this one is a bath and a half floor plan, which is always a big deal. So let's start off right over here on the camp side slide. You'll see I currently have it dropped down. I just want to show you, right? I always like to do this once in a while. So this right here, of course, is your table. I'll lift it up so you can see it. This will be your dinette, pretty standard stuff, things you've always seen before. What I always like to show those when it's down, just to show you how it will be in a bed. So at six foot tall, this isn't bad, right? Like, you know, curl up a tiny bit maybe. I have a pillow right here, but that's pretty great. You know, seeing this the fact that it's a nice big dinette, you know, you can still easily sit four people there for a meal, but the fact I can lay down as an adult uh, and have that as a bed space is pretty fantastic. In fact, uh, this one sleeps six people. As far as size, folks are looking at 37 foot, 10 inches, and weight is uh, like 10,360 pounds, a little bit north of that is what your dry weight will be. Another cool thing about the dinette I wanna point out is the fact you have storage. Boom, look at that storage. For days, it just keeps going and going and going. And it's the easiest way to access it, right? I don't have to sit here and, you know, start throwing a bunch of cushions and, you know, someone's sitting there. I don't want to have to bother them. Like, hey, get out of the seat. Need to get underneath your butt. No, don't got to do that. Don't have to mess with this little finger hole, right? Which my glove won't even fit into. And if it did, probably get a splinter on the way in and the way out. I don't want to do all that. I can if I want to wrestle with it. But why when I can do that? right? The easiest way. It's not a door. I don't have to get down on my hands and knees. I love having drawers underneath the dinette. And it's a campsite dinette. I want to look out at my campsite. Look at the size of the windows I have. I have huge windows. They go, you know, basically from where the furniture starts all the way up to the ceiling. And it's almost this entire wall right here. I have windows on the sides that open for cross ventilation. I'm telling you, this is a great spot right here. And next to it is the theater seats. So this, of course, will be the best seat in the house. This is where you chill, you kick back, relax. 
right across from it is my entertainment center, which that, that's pretty tough to do a lot of times, especially when we have a bunkhouse the size we do, bath and a half floor plan, which we'll see in just a moment. But great TV, entertainment center right down underneath. Can put some components, you know, right underneath there. You'll see that it has HDMI input for like Blu-ray player or whatever else. And you have a big fireplace, which I wish we had shore power right now because I would turn that on because I don't know if you notice, you can see my breath. It is cold. <laughs> Storage right up across the top right there. Let's head back into the, ba uh, the bunk room. So one of the things I absolutely love, folks, take a look at this. As soon as we come in, you will see right there, boom, half bath. So you have the mirrored medicine cabinet up top. You have the toilet right down underneath there. This is perfect for the kiddos. Wake up in the middle of the night, got to use the bathroom. Good to go right there. You have a top bunk here, the dinette underneath again. You know the dinettes drop down into a bed, but this is a great extra space. You have the dinette out there, but you have another one in here. So, you know, yes, they can absolutely eat meals here, but maybe you want to have a meal as a family. You can do that. This is also useful for things like putting puzzles together, coloring, playing games, all of that is, uh, is why I love having a dinette in the bunk room, right? It's, it's more than just playing video games, you know? A lot of times we try to get away from electronics. Now, don't get me wrong, if you want to play video games, you can do it. You have a TV here, you have the space for it, you can, you know, bring your brand new PS5 if you want, toss it right in there, you're good to go. You'll see storage over to the side here, you know, and underneath, ladder up to the top bunk right there. Bunch of LED lights in here, USB ports, the blade, they have the blade AC system. That's a, something that's newer from Keystone. It's absolutely phenomenal. It does a, a great job. Not only does it give you uh, better air movement throughout, meaning it's gonna cool the RV down quicker, but the other thing I love about it is the fact that it is quieter, right? It's like a quiet, cool AC. It's like 30 to 35% quieter. And they did all of it in the ductwork and they were able to put it in a ton of Keystone models. So uh, it would a Keystone, Dutchman, you know, kind of in that family, which we right here in the Dutchman Atlas and they get to utilize uh, a lot of those things. In case you didn't know if you're, you know, again, excuse me, if you're new to the RV world, um, you know, Dutchman and Keystone kind of fall under the same umbrella. And so they get to use a lot of the same equipment, things like the key TV, like the blade system. There's a lot of those things that they kind of get to share throughout, which is awesome because that way, you know, all that R and D is kind of pooled into one helping the entire line. And so uh, I do love the, the blade system that they use here in the Atlas. So, Center Island, right? I love having an island in the kitchen for multiple reasons. Uh, most of them are pretty obvious. You know, the fact that you get all that additional prep space, there's electrical outlets built in. So, you know, if you need to put like electric griddle or anything there, you can. Um, you get the little under lighting, right? You know, I, I like that, the accent lighting. Coming around to the front, take a look at this sink. Show them that, Kevin. Beautiful sink here, nice deep. You know, a deep basin sink, very modern cut, apron front on here, I love that. High rise pull out faucet, storage underneath, kind of open that up for you. I mean, look at that, right? You have so much room for a trash can or if you need like baking sheets, whatever else, you can toss it in there. You have a nice big fridge freezer, more space over here. Got to light that up, right? Just to show you, it is a nice, bright kitchen. They do a great job. Even though it's a little bit darker wood, they do a good job of keeping it nice and bright in here, which I love. And the bright countertops definitely aid in that as well as a little bit lighter flooring. But again, plenty of room for pots and pans here. You know, more storage underneath. You get the kind of like the bar over to the side. This is another big one for me, you know. I would probably use it as a bar, but maybe you want it as a coffee bar. Maybe you just want, you know, to put some knickknacks on there, right? Some different decorations, you can do that. And you get the pop-up power tower. So again, if you need to plug anything in, maybe you have a Margaritaville margarita machine, you can put it right there, plug it in, make a margaritas for the campgrounds. Let me know, I'll stop on by. Right underneath, good storage there. I mean, look at that, nice big deep drawers. You got a couple of those, more storage over to this side here. I mean, there is just so much storage all throughout this kitchen. More right up top, you can see, you know, how deep that is. I love the fact there's crown molding, right? Some of the accents they put in here. Uh, having the crown is really nice, just kind of helps, you know, accentuate and uh, make it stand apart from some of the other RVs that are out there. That beautiful uh, backsplash on here. And of course, it's behind the cooktop, probably should have mentioned that too, but I like that they continued it on throughout this bar area. Uh, sorry if I'm going quick, folks. There's just a ton of stuff to talk about in here. Want to make sure we hit it all. So we come on up into the bathroom. Here, let me do this. I'll do this for you, Kevin, and then see if you can swing up in here. 
All right, get a nice quick shot of the bedroom. Uh, but as, as we're here in the bathroom, right, just wanna show you, look at that, plenty of leg room, great shoulder space, porcelain bowl, right? So it's gonna stay nice and clean looking for a, a long time. Big linen closet. You know, this is important too. You have to have a spot for your towels and everything else you need in the bathroom. You're good to go there. Shower. This is all one I always like to show people. I like to stand in here. I'm six foot tall. Folks, I don't need that skylight. Look at this. I have plenty of room with it. I could be, you know, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and still shower in here without having to duck down, which is phenomenal. And there's a seat here in the corner. So if you want to sit down, you can. But also, if you need to put your leg up there or something to shave your legs, or, you know, if you just want to look imposing, do a little Captain Morgan, right? You can do that too. Why not? Right over here, you can see mirrored medicine cabinet. Right down underneath that's your countertop, electrical outlet. Right over here, uh, some more storage, good spot for some of your black tank chemicals, toilet paper, whatever else you need. And then when we move into the bedroom here, let me turn the lights on. There we go. Uh, so storage all the way across the top and on the sides. You have wardrobes. One of my favorite parts, take a look at that. I mean, well, it, it's snowy, which may not be the, the most beautiful sight unless you like winter camping, which a lot of people do for good reason, right? I mean, you know, I've seen some beautiful places. I've heard like uh, Brack is absolutely gorgeous. There's a bunch of just beautiful places to go winter camping. Do highly recommend it, which with this one you can. Now, of course, we would be want to run propane, so we have heat in here, which we didn't do, but you certainly would. Uh, but the thing I like about this is just the gorgeous view that you get. You know, I mean, it's big, it's bright, it's open. It lets in a lot of natural light. You can enjoy those views. You have actual nightstands on both sides, right? You know, it's not just a, a small panel. You have an actual top on there. So if you need to, you know, put some weight on here, you can do that. You have electrical outlets and USB ports, whether you just need to charge a cell phone or if you have a CPAP machine or, you know, I've talked to people that they have to bring oxygen with them, right? You have a place to plug all of that in. If you take a look on the other side, you will see wardrobe right there. So, you know, plenty of uh, space. You got good storage and drawers underneath. If you want a second AC, Whoop, there we are, <laughs> right there. So we have a vent up top. This is prepped for a second AC if you want one. And then also, if you want TV, that is where it will be mounted. Now, we hit the inside. Let's take a, a quick look at the outside here. And as we take a step outside, you will see here you have upgraded steps, aluminum treads on there with the grip tape, so you can make sure that you have good traction. You also see the extended grab handle so you can quickly and easily go up and down the stairs there. As we make our way around to the front, show you a couple quick things right up here. So you have the gorgeous front cap with that windshield. Take a look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. It's one of the things I just love about the exterior of this RV. You know, a lot of manufacturers will just put, they'll just paint like that front little area black to try to mimic a windshield. Here you actually have it. And we saw, of course, the advantage of that inside. Rotoflex Kingpin, so you have better towability because this will flex as you're starting and stopping, which will help kind of take out that chugging, right? They call it bucking and chucking, uh, which is kind of, yeah, as you kind of start moving, you know, which uh, you, you definitely don't want. Just kind of, I don't know, just, just kind of just isn't fun, right? Just takes the fun out of towing. So that makes it a little bit better. Uh, take a look underneath. <laughs> take the fun out of towing. Uh, you'll see there's a tire right in there. Um, so that's a good spot for a spare tire, super easy to get to. You have the uh, battery box right over to the side here. Man, my brain is frozen. It is cold out here, guys. You will see solar prep right there. If you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. That will trickle charge your battery. Nice big storage right here. Take a look at that. The thing I love about this is you don't have any vertical plumbing, so you don't have to worry about that. And again, you have uh, two awnings on here. Let me show you this real quick. Last thing I wanna show you is the fact that you have an outside kitchen, folks. You wanna do some cooking outside. This one right here lets you do it, and it has my beer fridge, which makes me happy. Folks, this is just one of so many things we have to show you this week. Again, this is the Atlas 3342 BHF. If you are interested, simply text the word RV to 46642, and this could be yours. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. 
big, bold, beautiful, brilliant bunk houses, folks. That is this session that we are in. And if you're looking for something where you can sleep a ton of people, this is a great floor plan. You have uh, it's kind of a nice separate bedroom up front with a wall divider, big super slide. And in the back, you have five different beds for people to sleep. So if you got a big family, got a lot of friends, you want something that has a lot of space, a ton of room, folks, this is a brilliant bunkhouse for you. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. I always like to start in the kitchen because personally I like to do a lot of cooking when I'm camping. And this kitchen right here will allow you to do exactly that. You have good prep space right here in between the sink and the three burner cooktop. You have all this space back here which is perfect for your coffee maker. USB port there too in case you wanna you know, charge your cell phone or whatever else you need to charge right there. Plus you get another electrical outlet over here. So if you have like an electric griddle you wanna set up right here, you can do that. Nice big black uh, back splash going all the way across right there. Recessed cooktop with that three burner that folds up and back just like so. High output right there in the front oven underneath. Big bank of three drawers. Open it up, you know, top one's perfect for flatware. The bottom two, you will see are a little bit deeper. So if you have some larger items, like I always say, I like to take an apple core when I go camping. Uh, I have an immersion blender, like a hand blender. It's a little bit bigger, but it'll fit in there, no problem. Underneath the sink, this is a big one for me. I love when manufacturers put in a spot for a trash can and I have it right here underneath the sink, exactly where I want it, just like at home. Cool thing about this too, folks, you can see because the upgraded countertop on here allows to undermount that stainless steel sink. And this one is an apron front. You take a look at that beautiful sink, you know, kind of bringing in that farmhouse feel with that apron front on there, high rise faucet, making it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. You'll see the storage all the way across the top has that nice frosted glass, right? Help to break up the wood look a little bit. You know, I know a lot of manufacturers are going to lighter colors, right? We're starting to see a lot of light woods, a lot of white. Uh, but when, you know, when we do a lot of poles, what we found is it's pretty split even, right? Not everyone wants that light, bright interior. Some people still like a little bit darker wood, and that's exactly what they did. But they want to make sure they help break it up and lighten it up a little bit by doing things like this. You'll see the microwave there as well as the hood. And then of course the Norcold fridge freezer combo opening that guy up. This one does run off both propane and electric. Now, as we take a look in here and we'll see in the bunk room in just a moment, you know, it is a nice big bunk room. You're wondering how big this one is. It's a little over 37 foot running in, uh, coming right in at 37 foot, three inches. Your dry weight is a little over 7,800 pounds and you have nice big tanks. Looking at a 60 gallon fresh tank, which for the record is something that the, the entire Coleman Lantern series has, right? If you start looking at that Coleman Lantern, even some of the smaller ones will have that 60 gallon fresh tank, which is huge. This one also has a 42 gallon gray and a 42 gallon black. And you get all of that starting under $31,000, folks. That is as little as $7.42 a day. Take a look in here. You want to talk about a big pantry? I'm sure you can load this up with all sorts of goodies. You got more storage right down underneath there. The control for the thermostat, this one does control both the furnace as well as the AC. Um, as I'm sure you'd expect, you know, with the unit this size, you do have ducted AC so that, you know, you can make sure everything is nice and cool. And then same thing, the furnace, they, they run it through the floor. Now this, you know, it, it, like I say, right, there's always advantages and disadvantages. The nice thing about running your heat ducting through the floor like this is a couple big things. One. Uh, you can run your water lines alongside of it, right? If you run your water lines in the floor, which will help keep those nice and warm in colder climates. Another big advantage of having it in the floor like this is the fact that you can put the heat ducts wherever you want, right? Uh, you know, if you run it through the furniture, you're beholden to where the furniture is as far as where those heat ducts run. With this, you can put it in the room the way you want it and make sure that it is going to heat the RV evenly. If we take a step back, we'll get to the bathroom in just a moment, but first I wanna talk about all of the bunk space. Because as I said, you have five beds back here. And the fifth one is a little tricky because it's right underneath here. So what you'll see is you get this extra mat, right? You can pull that out, you get that extra sleeping space. Um, you know, now <laughs> I know you may feel, they may feel slight, slighted because they, they're sleeping on the floor, but I'll tell you right now, my five-year-old, and I don't know why, but for the last four nights has chose to sleep on the floor. She's literally sleeping right next to her bed in her bedroom. As an adult, I'm gonna wake up with a stiff neck, not be able to move, can't bend over, right? Everything hurts from sleeping on the floor. She absolutely loves it. So for kids, this is not at all an issue. And the fact you get that extra sleeping spot right here is phenomenal. 
150 pound max capacity on the top bunk. This does fold up and lock into place just like so as you'd expect. Nice big bunk on the bottom. As far as size, I'll show you here. I'm six foot tall, little over 200 pounds. And if I stretch out, you can see that, you know, if I have a pillow here, I can, you know, completely stretch out. I don't have to curl up, which is really nice. So, you know, if you have adults that want to stay there, that'll be a good bed. Now, this one's a little bit different story. This one's uh, going to be a little bit smaller. So that one will be built for a child, but then you get another larger bunk right over here, 300 pound weight capacity right up top. Also USB port up there. So if you have little ones, you know, want to hang out, play with a tablet, whatever, you have a spot they can plug that in. Another thing I really like is a built-in ladder. This is one of those things that a lot of people take for granted. Um, but you know, it, it, again, the smaller kids are usually the ones that want the top bunks when, when available. So with the ladder, it makes it a lot easier to be able to climb up in there, especially because you can't on the other side. So here you have that. And they were smart enough to put storage behind, which is great, so you're not wasting any space. More shelving here, and then drawers running all the way down. Take a look up top, there is a vent right in here. Um, what you'll see is that this one is also prepped for a second AC. So if you do want a second AC in here, this one already has the 50 amp connection, uh, and you can have a, the second AC to make sure everything stays nice and cool, because it is a, a pretty good size RV, and you, know, you may want that to make sure everything cools off. The other thing that's nice about this is if the kids have to get up and use the bathroom, you can do so nice and easily. Not quite as easy if uh, you, know, you have a, a weak bladder or you know, if you get up a lot at night uh, yourself, it is a little bit of a hike back here, but for the kids, it's very convenient. The other thing I like about it is they put the bathroom on the camp side. When that happens, it allows for this right here, which of course is your second entrance. That way, well, you know, during the day, you can just come in, use the bathroom, head right back out. You're not bringing all the dirt and sand and everything else in through that entire camper back here. You just come in, do your business, and then head right back out. Sink top over to the side. We'll show you that you do have plenty of storage underneath. Good spot for a trash can there. Mirrored medicine cabinet, electric outlet. I will take a step in the shower just to show you size, folks. And again, at six foot, I can completely stand up right here. I don't have to duck down at all. Taking a step back out, let's take a walk out into the main living area. Kevin, why don't you come on out? I'm going to actually have you spin around. So, excuse me, we can show everyone this right here. So the thing I like about this is it gives you a spot to hang clothes, right? So uh, that's one of the big problems normally when you have this style bunk room is there's just no place for clothes. But you see that you have wardrobe right here as well as drawers right there, plus all that shelving space we saw underneath that top bunk. So you do have spots for clothes, which is great. And then we move into the super slide with a nice big U-shaped dinette. Now, this is a convertible U-shaped dinette. And what I mean by that is if you take a look underneath, you will actually see uh, a third little uh, flange right there in the back, but you only have two legs. Well, the reason for that is there's two more flanges here on the table. And what you can do is actually spin this table. You'll use the front flange and the back flange. That back uh, entire section there comes off and this becomes a standard dinette instead of a U dinette. So it gives you some options. Uh, the cool thing about it is either way, no matter which way you use it, it still drops down into a large bed, right? If you need good additional sleeping space, this certainly provides it. Now, the reason I say that is because a lot of people, you know, they think U dinette, well, you know, if, of course you want a U dinette, you can sit more people at it, but folks, that's not necessarily the case. As you can see right here, you know, if I, I can fit probably one more person here, one more there, and that's about it. I uh, might be able to fit two back here, might be able to squeeze them in, but any more than that and everyone's knees are going to be banging into each other and then you'll, you'll have some issues. So, you know, whether it's in a U-shape or standard, you're probably looking at four people sitting there max. The great thing about a U-shaped dinette like that though is that it does create that bigger sleeping space. Right over here to the side is a jackknife sofa and Coleman does a couple things that I absolutely love. One of them, you drop this down right here and as you can see, you have some cup holders. More importantly though is the fact that you get an armrest. And so you put a throw pillow right here, you have an armrest here, kind of creates almost like a pseudo feeder seating, which I love. A couple other things, one, the big advantage of a jackknife is all the storage that you get underneath. It's very easy to access. This does drop down into a smaller bed. The other thing I love about this one is that you have the drop down storage. It's a lot easier to access, right? You don't even have to lift up the, the sofa if you don't want to. You can get in there right from the front. And as you're sitting there, if you want to watch TV, you have a huge wall to put a large TV. You want to put a 50 inch here, you can do it. 
You know, you're, it's not going to be framed in. You're not going to be limited by the size of the entertainment center. Fireplace underneath, this is a huge feature as well, folks. Not only does that look great, but that is also a space heater, and that will help take the chill off in this space. One other thing I do want to mention is the slide height. You can see here, this is actually a pretty tall slide. At six foot, I can actually stand underneath it, which is not super common for a lot of travel trailers. A lot of times you do have to duck down, but the Lantern has the higher ceiling height. We take a walk up into the ba uh, bedroom. I just want to show you a couple quick things. One is right up on the wall right there. You'll see a spot to mount the TV. So if you want TV, that's where it'll go. And then you will also see you have wardrobe. So you have a spot to hang your clothes, shelf going across the top. And then right down underneath is your, uh, your nightstand with the shelving. You have plugins. And last thing I want to touch on, folks, is the fact that this actually has slider doors, right? It's not a curtain, it's actual doors. So you get a little more privacy. You have a door in the back. You have a door up front here so that uh, you get a little bit of separation, you know, for the parents and the kids. Making way up front, a couple things I want to talk about, touch on right here. You can, you can see, you know, we, we definitely had some snow, right, folks? I mean, we're, we're in Kansas right now, but I'm telling you, we got bombarded with snow. It has been cold out today. We're looking at negative 13, so we brought them in. We're, uh, we're thawing out a little bit, but you can see some remnants of uh, what was there. You'll notice the power tongue jack. Just touch a button to raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light in case you need a little added visibility at night. Propane tanks and cover right behind that, as well as your rails for your battery. And this one has solar prep. So if you want solar, right there is where it'll be. So it's nice and easy to hook up. Buy portal panels, plug it in. That'll trickle charge your battery. And one other thing I want to touch on that I love about the Coleman Lantern series is the size of the pass-through. You can see there we have absolute massive pass-through in there, which is phenomenal. And folks, this is just the first session of week eight. I'm super excited. This is the Coleman Lantern 334BH. If you're interested, simply text the word RV to 46642. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. This is Bryce, I'm Nellie, and we are the Journeys. We are full-time RVers with our two little girls. We have an almost three-year-old and a seven-month-old. We have done all 50 states in our RV. We moved from a Class A to a fifth wheel and we're going strong. We have partnered with Camping World, Good Sam, and Gander RV during this Ultimate RV Show National Tour to go to 10 different locations throughout the country, show you all that they have to offer, and actually hide geocache treasures throughout this tour. So make sure you follow along with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour and join us as we go across the country on this tour. Well, look at that, Nelly. There you were, and here you yeah. are. I love the fact that uh, Bryce was just talking about my radio show, Sean Pars Across the Country. He just really looks up to you, Sean. Yeah, and, <laughs> you know, having the jerseys <laughs> here, having to. the Tilbys here, Sean, you are sandwiched between two Shans right now. I am sandwiched between two really wonderful gentlemen. What a great day it is. You know, we're out here, <laughs> and uh, we just got the RV show kicked off, the Ultimate RV Show National Tour here in the Midwest as we continue through Kansas. And Ian was talking about how cold it is. We brought some of the units inside. Ooh. Sean, you've experienced experienced that with some uh, problems with your batteries. Yeah, we woke up, uh, what was it, two mornings ago, and it had hit negative 17 on our drive, and then we woke up to negative 13. That was the actual temperature. Mm -hmm. I think the wind chill was into the negative 20s, oh. and my car just wouldn't start. Just wouldn't start. So yeah. we got the opportunity to hook up to Bryce and Ellie's nice new Ford truck. and Big bad Ford that they're yeah. driving right now, pulling did that some, fifth wheel. Did some charging for a while, and we were able to get her started, and then the next Next couple nights, we were fighting it as well, so we were babying them along the way till we got a new battery. Bringing so. the batteries into the hotel rooms that you guys were actually staying in because it was yeah. so cold. It they have five cold. kids that they are out in a travel trailer with. And as we continue the brilliant bunkhouse mm -hmm. tours, before we get to our next vehicle, and we've yeah. got a really good one to show you right now, we want to do an ultimate giveaway. Oh, hold on. I just want to do this. Yes. 
Because <laughs> I love giveaways. They're my favorite thing in the world. Let's do this. All right, let's do it. What are we giving away? A, a, mm-hmm. a Coleman UT250, right? Yes, now, we are. Those if things are you beautiful. guys want to get registered to win this Coleman 250, oh. not necessarily this one, but mm-hmm. other opportunities in the future, you've got to text URVS to 46642. Well said. Look well at you, said, Sean. Sean. Nelly, who's winning this big bad All boy right, right over here? And the winner here? is... Paul McGinley? McGinley. Paul McGinley. 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 Yeah. Paul McGinley. There the crowd goes wild. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we're going to give away over $250,000 in our 10 week run, which is amazing. And at mm-hmm. the end of the weekend, somebody wins a brand new RV. Let's continue with the Keystone Outback as we take a look at more brilliant bunkhouse RVs. Ian, take it away. And once again, when we talk about brilliant bunk houses, one of them that stands out immediately to me is the 2021 Keystone Outback 340BH. And the reason being, I love this overall layout. They've, they give you a good bunk room, but they really, in my opinion, have mastered this main living space. You have dual opposing slides here, which really help to open it up and allows for a kitchen island. This is something you don't often get in a bunk model. Um, you know, there's a few floor plans with it out there, but I absolutely love this just because it gives you all that additional prep space, right? You know, when you have guests and they're sitting in the theater seating and they're sitting uh, in the dinette, which we'll see in just a moment, you get all of this space right here. Excellent prep space. You have the high rise faucet. Uh, you know, I like the way this one looks too. You can see it has a little more, um, I don't know, almost industrial look to it, which I like. And then you can see the undermount sink, true solid surface countertops in the Outback, folks. This is a, a higher end, you know, a little more luxury travel trailer. So, you know, when, I, when we go through some of these and I say that we have an RV for every lifestyle, for every budget, I'm not kidding. You know, if you are looking for something that's higher end that you want to have your family in, this one right here is an excellent one for it. Uh, and the great thing about it is price point is, is still great on it. I mean, this one is starting at under $45,000, uh, which is $10.77 a day. And when we take a look at some of the outside features as well, I mean, the inside is clearly gorgeous, right? That's what everyone notices right away. And as we go through, we'll see some of that. But then when you see the outside features in the construction, you'll clearly understand why this one is a front runner in my book. Um, but again, you know, back to back to what we were saying here, you know, the undermount sink, you have the drying rack right up top, you have good storage, you know, you have two pull-out drawers right there, some of your flatware, a couple larger drawers underneath, nice and deep. Underneath that sink, you know, you have a, a little bit uh, something, something there. So if you have like cutting boards or some larger items, that's an excellent spot to be able to put them. And then I love this this light fix, uh, fixture or light feature that they have here. Um, not only does it do a good job of brightening up this island, but you'll also see the big skylight right up top and that's right over the island. So during the day, assuming it's not snow covered like this one is, uh, it will let in a lot of natural light, which is fantastic. Now, one of the cool things that I really love about this floral plan, like I say, you get this dual opposing slide. So it has that island, but look at all this space you get. If you have, you know, dogs or anything, or, you know, maybe you want to stay active. You want to work out a little bit while you're on the road. This gives you the ability to do that. You have theater seating directly across from the entertainment center. And you want to see what really gets me excited, what really gets me going is this right here. Boom. You're sitting there, you're on the theater seat, and all of a sudden you're like, where's the TV? There it is, just comes right up just like that. You know, nothing hard about it, just touch a button, boom. It is up, you have the window right behind there, you have the, uh, the, the shades, the, I can't think right here, the roller shades, that's what I'm looking for. Blackout roller shades right behind it, but nice big TV, and as I said, that's directly across from that theater seating. DVD player built in if you want to watch a movie. Fireplace right there as well. Nice long fireplace. You know, that does an excellent job of not only heating this space, but also it looks great. You know, you want to talk about, you know, really nice looking um, travel trailer. I mean, you know, you have great finishes. You have the fireplace there. People come over and it feels more like a home than it does an RV. You also see, you know, they, they've taken a lot of inspiration from residential styling. You have the barn style door here. You open that up. You'll notice you have some options. You have shelves that are built in, but these are removable if you want. And then you have a hanging rod. So you have options. You want it as a coat closet? Great. You want it as extra pantry space? Great. Whatever you want it, that's exactly what it can become. Right over here again is that theater seating, some cup holders. Both of these kick back and recline. You will also see that you have storage for remote right down in there. Uh, the dinette itself, you know, if we take a look here, you kind of see like that wooden table 
absolutely beautiful. You have some lights underneath. Sorry, I, I got the floor a little wet earlier when we came in here. As I said, it's snowing outside. So, Kevin, make sure you don't slip right there. But as we come in a little bit further and we take a look at the other side here, you'll see the fridge-freezer combo there right next to our cooktop. It is recessed. It lights up. Oven. Storage underneath. Beautiful. Again, solid surface countertops with that subway tile backsplash. You know, it's lit underneath that. Take a look at that, folks. You want to have spots for pots and pans? How often do you look at bunk houses and you think, man, I just don't have enough space in the kitchen, right? I just don't have the space I want to be able to cook, you know, the space for my pots and pans and all of my other dishes. That will never be the case in the 340 here, folks. There's just a ton of room. Microwave right up top there. Open that guy up, you can see a little bit of extra storage. I mean, all the way around, just a ton of storage here. Uh, I also will show you this, right? We don't wanna forget, you saw the one pantry, but when one pantry isn't enough, why not have a second? And that's exactly what you get right here, especially if you turn the other one into a coat closet, you still want pantry space, boom, there it is. Right next to the dinette, you're sitting here, you wanna grab some snacks, right? Maybe a, a loaf of bread or something to go feed the ducks and geese, right? Out by the lake, you can do it. Right, here you go. You know, just don't let them inside your RV. They're mean. You don't want to do that. They'll attack you. I see you. Coming right out here into the bunk room, what you will see is that you have plenty of space right up top. 300 pound weight capacity. You'll see the window right there. Also the ladder. So this makes it nice and easy to climb right up top here. Good storage spot for a TV, right? Always love that. But again, you know, you have good shelving in here. So you need to have a spot for the kids' clothes. That's what this provides. And then you will see here, electrical outlet, need to plug anything in. That's a great spot to do it. Then across the way, top bunk, 150 pound weight capacity. That is on strut. So it's super easy to lift up and down. And then directly underneath that is a tri-fold sofa. And folks, this right here makes a nice, comfortable bed. It's big. The thing I love about this is if you have older kids, you know, maybe some older teenagers and they want to be able to, uh, you know, want a place to sleep. This is long enough. It's big enough that you can have adults sleep on here, which is phenomenal. And again, kind of like the barn door, you have that beautiful just uh, styling. Another thing I want to point out is take a look at the flooring here, folks. You have flush floor slides and they have that vinyl right over top. So it's, you know, it's very seamless when you're looking at it. A lot of times you can't even tell. Not only is it easy to clean, but it's also, again, just very streamlined all the way throughout. Now, as we make our way back up front, right, we saw, you know, these big, beautiful, dual opposing slides opening it up. Uh, but, you know, we want to talk about what we have up front here, too. And one of the big things for me is the bathroom because you have a ton of bathroom space. And again, a lot of times in bunk models, that's not always the case. Now, you know, we saw a bunk and a half floor plan, right? Those are out there. Um, or, uh, sorry, a bath and a half, right? There's bath and a half floor plans, but I like this one just because you do get a lot of room here. I mean, I have great space for my legs, my shoulders, you know, toilet paper holder, nice big sink right up here, mirrored medicine cabinet. Um, the, the bowl is porcelain. When I take a step into the shower, you know, look at this, folks, six foot tall, plenty of room. I could be 6'3", you know, 6'4". Maybe not quite, you know, professional NBA but uh, NBA player, but I can be a pretty tall person and still be able to shower in there without having to duck down. Then we make our way into the bedroom. Control panel here. You know, it doesn't stop. I mean, it, it continues, right? Absolutely gorgeous all throughout the bedroom. You have wardrobe on both sides. You have little cubby holes, right? So if you need to have your cell phone there, you have a spot for it. Uh, you know, queen size bed. So, you know, if you're a taller person, you'll still have room here. Um, right up top, this one is prepped for a second AC. So if you want another AC, boom, there is your prep for it. And right back here, if you want a TV in the bedroom, you have a space to mount it. But as I promised you in the beginning, folks, it's not just about what we have on the inside that really makes the Outback so special for me. It's a lot of the stuff that we have on the outside too. So let's take a quick look and let's talk about uh, what, again, for me kind of makes the, the Outback a luxury RV. What helps set it apart from some of the others? And to start off is this right here. You have the BAL auto level system. Folks, if you've, you know, if you've seen my videos, you hear me talk about it a lot, right? Stabilizer jacks are not leveling jacks. This one actually has leveling and it's auto level, which means after you drop it, you touch a button and it does the rest for you. You no longer have to worry about leveling blocks, pulling it back and forth to get it level. You touch a button and it is done. This is one of the coolest things, uh, in my opinion, that have come to travel trailers in like the last five years. But a lot of manufacturers just don't use it because it's an expensive system. But for me, 
I think it's 100% worth it. Whether it is or not for you is a conversation that you know, we can have. And here's the great thing about it is if you're looking for something like this and you want to know what models have it, folks, all you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 or drop it in that comment section below. And that will give you access to over 100,000 pieces of inventory we have on the lot, we have coming in. And again, we can help you uh, kind of help guide you through, see which ones have auto level, see if that's right for you. Or if you want something a little bit more budget friendly, we can certainly help you there as well. But that for me is a huge feature to have outside. Another really, really big one is this right here. This is a true front cap. And what I mean by that is you can see that it's, it's a molded cap to begin with and it comes around to the side. And what that does for you is it helps protect not only the front end from rocks and debris, but also water. You know, for water intrusion, a lot of times for your, uh, your front end, the seal will be right here. And that's where the water is driving into as you're going down the road. But by bringing the cap around to the back, you have less chance for water to get in there. It gives you more insulation. You get the, uh, a nicer aesthetic on your rock guard up here, in my opinion. You know, still have the beautiful LED lights. Again, it's just uh, one of those things that it costs a little bit of money, and so a lot of manufacturers have gone away from it, but there are still a few that keep it, and for me, a front cap is 100% worth it, so I love that they put that in there. Now, taking a look right up front, magnetic catch as you'd expect. It's also slam latch, and if we take a look in there, what is going on with these geese? I'm telling you, they are everywhere. I'm, I'm not gonna get too close. I, I know better, all right? I'm not getting attacked today. To take a look inside there though, that is a, a big pass through. I mean, you can fit a whole flock of geese in there if you want, right? A, a gander, is that what it'd be called? A, a gander, a gaggle, a gaggle of geese? I think that's right. Right next to that is your TV hookup. If you want TV, that's where you would put it. Uh, again, right up here in the corner, you can see your battery disconnect, kind of right in there in that pass-through, if you can sneak in there. Battery disconnect as well as additional solar. Now, there was solar on the front too, so you have all sorts of places to hook solar up into this thing if you want to get out there and uh, have that solar ability. You will also see power awning on here, just rolls out, rolls right back in. The solid steps by LCI. Aluminum treads, so they're not gonna rust on you, just as the name implies, very solid. Folks, I'm over 200 pounds, I can hop up and down on this thing, and there is no flex whatsoever. So we make our way to the back, I just wanna show you a couple more quick things. Of course, aluminum alloy wheels. You can see the, the jacks right down here, right? Part of that auto level system. So it uses five different jacks. You have the uh, front power tongue jack, you have these two uh, powered rear jacks, and then you have two stabilizer jacks up front as well, and you will utilize all of them in order to level this RV out. But the other thing I wanted to hit on back here is the fact you get an outside kitchen. Folks, this is just one of so many bunk models we have in stock, I'm telling you. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 or drop FRESH in the comments right. section below. This is Bryce, I'm Nellie, and we are the Journeys. We are full-time RVers with our two little girls. We have an almost three-year-old and a seven-month-old. We have done all 50 states in our RV. We moved from a class A to a fifth wheel and we're going strong. We have partnered with Camping World, Good Sam, and Gander RV during this Ultimate RV Show National Tour to go to 10 different locations throughout the country, show you all that they have to offer, and actually hide geocache treasures throughout this tour. So make sure you follow along with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour and join us as we go across the country on this tour. Hey everybody, welcome to the Jurgies Must Fun Haves. Yes, these are things you must have if you would like to have fun. <laughs> I am Nelly and Bryce is somewhere. I'm I was chillaxing until <laughs> you woke me up. What's up guys? <laughs> this is a super fun segment. Um, maybe not stuff that you initially need right away, but stuff that you definitely, we recommend for anything having fun here. Comfy ham, comfy, comfy. I don't even what, this is I everything. don't know, but a I do know. Hammock. We're getting one right yes. after this segment. Yes. <laughs> you should have seen this as we were gathering all this stuff. <laughs> Most of this we already have, and some things were like, okay, this. Now that we have a toy hauler, this as well. Kayak over here. But we want to talk about all the little things you can fit in your RV. I mean, you just got to have them, right? Yeah, so yeah. go ahead, Bryce. Start this off. So simple things that are like things you might not think about but make a big difference. We have two little girls. One's almost three. Um, picnic table cover that you can color with markers. 
Really fun. Get them excited to be outside using that as you then prep them for dinner, for starters. And then speaking of dinner, any type of grill. We didn't have a lot of space. We threw this one up there. They are all great here at Camping World Organic RV locations. Um, you have to have a grill. Yeah. Or you're not a true RVer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said it. Quote I said Nelly. it. Just kidding. Um, a grill set here. Make the experience easier as you're grilling. We have this exact kit, actually. In fact, Bryce bought our first grill, and then right away he brought this. Because I think that just made you feel like more like... You're yeah, in. You yeah, did it. Yeah, that was, Here's that was a great day. Here's your man card. You want it? <laughs> um, we actually also have this hiking pack. This is a Kelty hiking pack. Um, ours is blue. But Avalyn has gone, what? I don't know, 200 miles in this thing? Probably not. Probably like 15. But <laughs> um, makes it super easy. A lot of kid-friendly stuff here. You got this as well to pack your cooler stuff, anything you want to keep cool. And that is like detrimental when you have children. So you can throw in everything else you need when you normally go hiking. But to have a place where it keeps your food cool. Very essential. Very nice. Um, for things that you might not think about, but make like, we go on these adventures because we're all about creating memories and bonding moments with your loved ones, mm -hmm. right? So something like this, the SUP Glow, Stand Up Paddleboard Glow, these yes. lights stick on the bottom of your paddleboard, light up the water underneath. Memory maker. Right Especially there. in the summer and you're, it's like, you know, that warm breeze and it's magical. You go out on your paddle yeah, board. Yeah, not right now in the polar vortex. No, nope, not right now. <laughs> but you will use this. My go-to, I cannot go camping without one of these, is a hammock. Just don't do it. Don't leave without your hammock. But so much stuff. Yard games you can have or, or games outside of your park, outside your RV as well, like this ladder ball game, um, bocce ball, tons of stuff like that. Um, just so many things you can check out at Camping World Again RV, whether you're tent adventuring or RVing, check it out. It'll make a difference for you with these fun halves. Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. From sun up to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. When we talk about brilliant bunkhouses, you wouldn't be complete without the 2021 Forest River Salem Hemisphere 314 BUD. This is a classic layout. Uh, there's a lot of different manufacturers that make something very similar, but they all put their own little twist on it. So if you're looking for something where you can sleep eight people, something, you know, right around, I mean, it's a bigger RV, right? But still under uh, 40 foot. This one comes in at 39 foot. Dry weight of 8,354 pounds. Uh, this really is, again, they, they took a classic floor plan they put a great twist on it and I think you're going to love it as much as I do so let's start off right over here one of the things you'll notice right away is the beautiful countertops they kind of have like a like a whitish gray uh, almost like a like a you know they did a good job of imitating stone is what I want to say right like it even though you know it's not like a, a true solid surface you can see it kind of has that look to it where you almost see like the stone grain in there um, and, and I, I really like that. I think it's a great choice for a countertop. Big undermount stainless steel bowl right here. I mean, that is a big bowl. High-rise faucet. That's a pull-out faucet, of course, too. Over to the sides, your three-burner cooktop. Beautiful backsplash here, I want to add. I, I 
like that they went with like a herringbone for the subway tile. I think it adds a little bit of depth to that backsplash um, and just kind of, again, gives it a nice aesthetic piece. Right up front, that front burner is high output. You have the oven underneath. You also have good storage right there for pots and pans, which I definitely appreciate. A uh, tiny bit of storage underneath the sink. I'll kind of show you that. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's not a ton, but at least they did give you something there, which, you know, given the fact that they also have drawers built into it, is pretty darn impressive. And you will see the drawers, got a little drop down guy here, but two decent sized drawers right underneath there. And then as we make our way in a little bit further, uh, I do want to point out the storage up top. So I like this too. I, I like the glass they chose. Um, you know, you can see through it just a little bit, but it, it still has a nice frost to it, nice design to it. When we open it up, you'll see that there's plenty of storage there as well. Microwave and a hood right here. And then the Everchill 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. And you know, I've talked about this before, but more and more manufacturers are starting to go to a 12 volt refrigerator. It, it all honestly started because of uh, manufacturing shortages, right? We people couldn't get, or manufacturers couldn't get in the propane and electric refrigerators, so they started going to 12 volt. They're a little bit more expensive, um, but the nice thing about the 12 volt is that if, as long as you have enough solar and a couple batteries, you can basically run these indefinitely. And so a lot of people are really going towards them. Uh, also, you get a little bit more space, right? You know, even though it takes up a, kind of the same footprint, you get more internal uh, cubic footage of cold storage with the 12 volt, and it cools down a lot quicker. Right next to that, we'll open this guy up. You can see good pantry storage, uh, trash can right in there. Not sure that, you know, I, I, I love having a trash can in there. I mean, I, obviously it's uh, kind of stowed away, but you know, if I'm gonna use it for food, I, I'm, a little, I'm a little weird about it. I, I know a lot of people have their, their trash can in their pantry. Uh, for whatever reason, I just get slightly weirded out about it, but I would rather have a space like this than have my trash bag hanging out. So at least they gave me something. They couldn't do it underneath the sink, so there just wasn't enough space underneath that countertop. So I, I'd much rather have it here than not have it at all. Now, let's talk about the bathroom, because one of the big things here is the, uh, the floor plan itself, right? And uh, when we saw the Coleman, we saw something very similar to the fact that you have uh, the access directly to the bathroom so that any of the kids, yourself, you can just come right in here, do your business, head right back out. At uh, six foot tall, you know, I'm coming in a little over 200 pounds. I have plenty of space here, both for my legs as well as my shoulders. Toilet paper holders already right there. It's easy to reach. You know, and, and I say that because sometimes manufacturers will put them in a weird place. Like you have to do like one of these to try to grab toilet paper. Nobody wants to deal with that. This is simple. You have an electrical outlet, plenty of storage underneath the sink there for your toilet paper. If you have black tank chemicals, anything like that. Oil rub bronze fixture and mirrored medicine cabinet right there up top. Now, as we make our way back in, we'll get to the super slide in just a second, but I first want to hit on the bunk room because that's what this is all about, right? Is brilliant bunk houses. And right back here is something that I love. And what you'll notice we make our way in, in this slide out. So you have a top bunk that as you can see, just locks in place right up top like that. Then underneath is a sofa. So this of course is jackknife, so it folds out into a bed. Uh, but what I love about it is that you have the drop down, drop down center console, plus you have the little removable armrests right here. So you kind of get like a, a little bit of a, again, pseudo theater seating here. Straight across is where you can mount a TV. So, you know, if you have teenagers and they want to bring like a gaming system, something like that, you can see you have plenty of space for it. And you got the, you know, the optimal uh, kind of design here, right? Where it's directly across. Or, you know, I, I've had people that, you know, maybe uh, maybe this is what you get and you have it for the family and then the kids, you know, because you get it when they're teenagers. You know, let's say they're 14. You use it for four or five years, they move off on their own, and now it's just the two of you and you're kind of left with a couple options. You can, you know, trade in if you want, which, you know, by the way, we have excellent trade-in values. Um, or, or B, you know, if you you can still continue to use it and adapt to what makes it work. And right back here, I've had people that will have another TV and they'll just kind of have this as like a, you know, a separate space to just kind of hang out, right? So you have that separation of space. So if you're spending a lot of time in here, you know, someone can be in the main living area, someone can be here or up in the bedroom, right? You just kind of get that that's a different space. Cause you can obviously use this for storage and everything else. So, you know, just because the kids kind of grow up and move on doesn't necessarily mean that your RV is no longer functional, but bear in mind, again, if uh, you know, if you do want to trade in, 
telling you folks, we have some of the best trade value trade values you will get out there. Plus we have amazing pricing. I mean, if you're looking at this right now, right? Let's say you're watching this, you tuned in and you already have a deal that you're working on one, right? The 314 BUD, the Salem Hemisphere, like, yes, this is it. Here's the thing, folks. All you have to do is text the word deal, D-E-A-L, and we'll beat whatever deal you have. It, I'm guaranteed, hands down. And if we cannot, we'll give you a thousand bucks. So you just you know that you got a great deal on your RV because you did your homework, you did your research, you know, and you're like, oh wait, they said they could do better. And if for some reason we can't, you get an extra thousand bucks in your pocket, cash money, good to go. Right over here, I just want to mention is is the last and final bunk. Um, you know, a little bit of a grab handle to kind of help you, you use these shelves here, kind of as steps to be able to get up in there. Uh, you also have a spot to plug plug in like cell phones or uh, laptops, anything like that, anything you need to charge. We make our way back out into the super slide. You will see the big U-shaped dinette right here, which is perfect. Uh, you know, you can drop that down into a sleeping space, which is what helps this one sleep eight people. And then you will also see this kind of cool light fixture right up top, you know, something a little bit different, kind of not necessarily an Edison bulb, but I do like that it kind of has like the, the center little uh, almost filament looking strips in there. Just kind of adds a little bit to the light fixture itself. You know, I mean, I, I guess it's probably acrylic that they used or whatever, but again, I just like the way it looks. And then over to this side, you do have a little bit easier access storage right here. So you can just swing these open on both sides to access anything underneath the U-shaped dinette. And, and again, folks, you can easily sleep two adults right here. Um, and of course, you'll, you'll get some more sleeping space over here. We'll see in just a moment. But one of the other things I really like is the window space. I mean, look how much window space you have here. It lets in a ton of natural light. Both of the windows on the side of the slide do open. And that can, you know, that can be a pretty big deal for a lot of people because maybe you're somewhere where, you know, you, again, we talk about 12 volt fridge, maybe you're boondocking, maybe you're running off solar, uh, you know, and, and you, you don't have the AC to rely on keeping things cool. So you want to make sure you can open some windows up to make sure you're getting some cross ventilation in here. So that, that can be a pretty big deal when we're talking about some of the differences in some of the different bunkhouse models. And as I said, there's a lot of manufacturers that make a floor plan very similar to this. If you know, if you like a lot of things here, but there maybe there's something that's just not working. Maybe it's colors. Maybe it's something in the bunk room. You know, maybe you want a little more storage. Maybe you want a different bathroom setup. Folks, I'm telling you, we have over 20,000 pieces of inventory on the lot and over 80,000 that are coming. As we all know, you know, there's been a huge shortage, right? Late last year, there's a huge shortage of RVs. We saw it coming. We ordered a ton and we have a ton coming. And I'm telling you, if you want a bunk model, all you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642, and we will help make sure that you get the bunk model you want, whether you want a U-shaped dinette, maybe you want a tri-fold sofa, maybe you want theater seating here, you know, maybe you want different colors. Let us help you out. All you have to do is text that word FRESH or drop it in the comment section below. Now, this right here is what we call a tri-fold sofa. The great thing about a tri-fold is it makes a comfortable bed, right? A jackknife sofa will give you more storage underneath. The tri-fold makes a more comfortable bed because it actually pulls out and gives you good sleeping space right there. Now, because of that, it will kind of uh, cut off the RV. Just bear that in mind. The great thing about it is you have an entrance right here to the front half. And if you remember, you had a second entrance in that bathroom. So that way you can access the back half. So you're not truly cut off. The other thing I like about this one is the fact that you have an angle right here for your entertainment center. So if you're in the kitchen cooking, you're at the dinette, you're on the sofa, you always have a great shot right there to the TV. You'll see your entertainment center built in here, your multimedia center with the DVD player, speakers, fireplace right down below. And then I love this too. You walk in and right there's a coat rack. You hang up your jackets, your sweatshirts, whatever you may have, nice and simple. Now we saw the bathroom in the back and you may be thinking that's cool. What you probably didn't expect is this right here. If you take a look, folks, there it is, right? We have a bath right up here. So you'll, you'll see the, you know, because we have the, the half bath there in the back, but here we have the toilet. You have your shower, uh, neo-angle shower. The doors are in a roller track. You know, I'll, I'll take a step in here just to kind of show you height. I'm six foot tall. You can see, even without that skylight, folks, I have no issues at all. You can be 6'2", maybe 6'3", and still be able to shower in here. Good size countertop, mirrored medicine cabinet. Again, that toilet paper is nice and easy to reach, and you have a porcelain bowl, so that bad boy is going to stay clean. It's going to look great for years to come. Kevin, why don't you come on up in here a second. Just show everyone 
The, uh, the bedrooms, just a couple quick things I want to point out. One is the fact you have a front windshield up there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Again, you have windows here for cross ventilation. If you take a look behind the wardrobes, you have mirrored wardrobe, you'll see little charging stations and you have another AC in here. And folks, you're getting all of that for starting under $40,000. This one is, that's as little as $9 and 58 cents a day. For the bath and a half, you get that huge bunk model. Again, you wanna talk about brilliant bunk houses, folks. This is definitely one of them right here. Big grab handle coming down that makes it nice and easy. The upgraded steps, you know, you have solar prep out here, huge pass through. There's so much on the outside of this. Unfortunately, we're running out of time, but folks, I'm telling you, if you are interested in a bunk model, we have a ton of them. If you want something a little bit smaller, we have it. You want something a little bit easier on the budget? We have it. You want something bigger? You want fifth wheels? We have it. All you have to do is text that word FRESH to 46642 or drop it in the comments section below. That way we can help you out, navigate you through, whether it's the Salem Hemisphere, whether it's the Atlas, whether you know it's the Coleman, whether it's something that we didn't even show you in this segment. Trust me, we have so many options out there. Just drop a comment. Ian, watch that frostbite, buddy, because uh, we're going to keep that guy nice and toasty warm. We're going to bring some of those vehicles inside as we continue with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Sean Parr with the Tilby. Sean and Renee. So a couple of Sean's here, Renee. And you I guys know. got five kids That's in right. your travel trailer. Not been the easiest time, but you guys love being out on the road. We love being out on the road. This has definitely been a different experience than typical on the road, but... You know, good stories to tell, right? Negative 35 degree weather. It's just great stories. It's all about the adventure. Yeah, and Sean, is. speaking of adventures, we're going into something that you really enjoy. Big bathrooms. Big Woo! bathrooms. <laughs> big guy, big bathrooms. No, the uh, this one that we're, we're heading into, we're talking two sinks in, I guess it would be the master bath. That's oh yeah. Amazing. I mean, it looks like it's a quarter of the trailer is just the bathroom. And then they give you another half bath as well, which... Five kids, one and a half baths. Would be I so mean, nice. That right there, that that's selling it to me. Yeah, the parents are like, okay, we're in there. Absolutely, we want to see it. And with the big slide outs too that we're gonna see. Ian's got it all ready to go. This is the Forest River of uh, River Saber. Ian, what do you got? I like big bathrooms and I cannot lie. You other RVers can't deny. When my girl walks into a little bit of space. Are you filming? Okay, awesome. Kevin, here we go, folks. This is the 2021 Forest River Saber 37 FBT. Uh, we are in RVs with big bathrooms. And as apparently you just caught me singing my awesome little song, uh, this one is no exception, folks. We have a huge bathroom. Let's, let's actually start up here. So one of the great things about front baths is that you, a lot of them will have a bath and a half floor plan. And this is where it's at. Um, th there's a lot of reasons I love a front bath. One, of course, you get all this space to get changed. If you want a good space, right, it's right off the bedroom. You come right in. It's kind of like a master ensuite that you would have in your home. You're able to get changed, do your thing. Um, you know, you have plenty of wardrobe space. It's already built in, right? Very common for fifth wheels to have wardrobe in the front. But here it is. So you can just grab your clothes, get changed, good to go, step out of the shower. It's exactly what you would want. Uh, you know, again, some, uh, kind of a similar setup to what you would have at home. The other thing I love is oftentimes up front, you also get washer dryer prep. So your washer and dryer are close to the bedroom, so it's easy to do laundry, but it's still out of the way and it's not taking up, you know, any extra wardrobe space. And if you don't want washer and dryer, because for the record, folks, not everyone does have washer dryer in their unit, even though the prep's in there. So manufacturers put in these big shelves, so you still get a ton of extra storage in there, which is fantastic. Another reason I love it is all the extra space. So the reason I say that is actually my in-laws have a front bathroom fifth wheel. Um, and one of the things we oftentimes use it for, at least, you know, when, when my five-year-old was a little bit younger, um, and, and now, you know, for my, my one-year-old, but we have a pack and play. And a lot of times you just don't have a spot to put it in an RV, right? Especially during the day for nap time. At night, yeah, no problem. You can, you know, drop down the dinette, throw it up on top of there. As long as they're not crawling up and out, you're good. Um, but during daytime for naps, what we would do is we'd put a pack and play right in here because you have the space for it, right? And then you can plug a little baby monitor in and then you can be outside. You know, you can sit out at the picnic table, uh, you know, maybe uh, in, enjoying a cocktail, having a snack, whatever it may be. And then everyone's in here resting peacefully, but it, it gives you that additional space, which is awesome. You'll also see the shower, right? Nice big shower in here. 
I mean, I'm six foot tall, especially with that skylight, folks. I can be the six four and still be able to shower in here, no problem. You know, I can be Chris Young height and I can still shower in here with, even without the skylight, which is awesome. Big O shelves here, you have a seat. The nice thing I like about this seat is it's, for me, it's on the appropriate side. It's over here. So if you actually want to sit and shower, well, now I can do it, right? You know, I can grab the hand wand, just making life a little bit easy. It's cold, things are cracking a little bit. Um, but, you know, just making life easy. The other thing is that if you want something to shave your legs, right? You can put your foot up there, shave your legs, making life a little easier on you. And across the way here, above that countertop, is beautiful storage. Nice big medicine cabinet in there. Ton of storage all the way across. More all the way down underneath. Couple big drawers here as well. Lots of countertop space. Dual vanity. That's a huge one, folks. I can't tell you how many times I'll shave my beard and my wife is yelling at me because there's hair all over the countertop and all over the sink. Well, now it's my sink, right? She can keep her side a little bit cleaner. I'll keep mine what I, what I think is clean. I, swear, I clean it up. I do. I, it's not like I'm a, a dirt ball. I clean it all up, but somehow there's just miraculously hairs that still show up. Anyway, having a dual vanity is an awesome thing. I have it at home. I'm sure a lot of you do too. And as a lot of you uh, can probably attest, it can definitely be a marriage saver, especially when you're in, uh, you know, under 400 square foot of space. Making our way into the bedroom. So you have a slide out bed here, you know, plenty of bed space. You're not going to elbow each other, which is great. You have that shiplap wall board there. Uh, windows on both sides for cross ventilation, plus a window up top just to help bring in some natural light. And I like that too. It makes this bedroom a beautiful, bright space. Another really cool thing, check out the storage up here, folks. Huge storage right there, which is, you know, good for some of those items that maybe you don't have to get a, a ton because, you know, it, it's a little awkward, I guess, to get to this space, but I love that they didn't waste it and they put something up there for you. AC here in the bedroom, of course, that will tie into the other AC. Everything will be ducted, making sure everything will stay nice and cool. TV hookup right there, right above your uh, chest of drawers. So if you want TV in the bedroom, you'll be good to go. Of course, you have uh, electrical outlets, USB ports on both sides of the bed there too, in case you need to plug anything in. Making our way down the steps, you might think, well, what did we have, you know, that extra space up top for? What's underneath it? Well, you're about to find out. Step on in here with me. And you will see, I want to start singing Willy Wonka. Um, Come with me and you'll see a bathroom full of imagination. Um, anyway, you step right in here. This is your half bath. You have the toilet. Uh, you know, plenty of space when I shut the door. I'm good. Good shoulder space. Good leg space. Opening up our storage. You know, you have room for your hand towels, extra toilet paper, black tank chemical, anything else you need in there. You, of course, you have your faucet right there so you can wash your hands in here. Very important, folks. Make sure you wash your hands, please. A little bit of storage there underneath. Uh, and then you have a window again here to let in natural light. That went out. One thing you will notice, I'm just putting this out there, because we have storage up top, there is no vent fan. So if you're doing number twos in here, Window, it opens, very important, key, key note there. Um, but the other thing I do like about it is that the fact it's right across from the entryway. So if you need to use the bathroom, you can just come right in, do your business and head right back out. And this is the only spot that's getting dirty. You're not bringing dirt into the other, you know, the entire camper, you're not bringing dirt up into the bedroom. Super simple and easy to get to. Now, the other cool thing about this front bath is they kind of change things up a little bit because it is a rear kitchen mid-living front bath. And so it's, it's combining so many great things in this floor plan, which is why I love it so much. You have the huge bathroom space, you get tons of countertop space, we'll see in a second, and you get a mid-living that resembles a front living room fifth wheel. So you can see here, we have opposing slides in this main living area with sofas on both, as well as theater seating right here in the back. So everyone can be you know, right in the middle of the RV, everyone can be talking, having a great time, and a massive TV right there that everyone is able to see no matter where you're sitting in this back or if you're back in the kitchen prepping food, you're still able to get a good view to that TV. Of course, multimedia center as you would expect and the fireplace right down underneath. Now there is a little bit of storage up top, a little tricky to get to, you'll want a step stool, but it is there. And I also wanna point out the speakers. Take a look at that. You have some upgraded speakers in here, which are awesome so that, you know, if you want some good sound quality, whether you're watching TV or listening to music, uh, you have that available. But again, I love this mid-living room feel, especially with that big front bath. Now, as far as a uh, place to eat, yeah, freestanding table and chairs can simply fit four people around here, no issues whatsoever. Zebra shades all the way around to let in the amount of light you wanna let in. 
And when you come to the very back, take a look at this big, beautiful kitchen here in the back, Kev. So, you know, a lot of times this would be a rear kitchen floor plan. You know, they wouldn't have that front bath on there. And so the big advantage of a rear kitchen is this right here, all of this extra countertop space you get. You'll see the high-rise industrial style faucet, the uh, apron front sink. It's kind of that new black stainless steel that we've seen, you know, very uh, hot in the residential side right now. In the storage all the way around, right underneath, you have storage over here, you have a bank of drawers, you know, three nice full extension ball bearing drawers for everything you need to put in there, storage all the way across the top, and you even get a big pantry. So one of the reasons I, I just absolutely love this 37 FBT is because again, most of the time, what is in the back of your RV is the main feature, right? And this one would be a rear kitchen. But you also get an awesome living room with that mid-living. And you get the huge front bath, which for this one it is probably the, the main feature of it. And so there's just so many things uh, that I absolutely love in this one. And, and I think they knocked it out of the park. Um, again, so storage all the way across the top, microwave here. I do want to point out that you have a residential refrigerator here as well. And so you'll see that this one is not currently on because we don't have it plugged into shore power. Power. Now, it does have an inverter dedicated just for this fridge, so as you're going down the road, everything will stay nice and cool in there. But, you know, this one being almost 43 foot long, they didn't intend to have you do a ton of boondocking, and with a 43 foot rig, I, I wouldn't want to do much either. Um, so they put in a residential refrigerator so it cools down nice and quick. You get the extra cold storage. You still have big tanks on here, looking at 49 gallon fresh, 76 gray, and 76 black. So nice big tanks. Now, folks, we're going to go take a look at the outside, but if the inside is enough to convince you with this RV, which for a lot of people, I know it will be, all you have to do is text the word RV to 46642 and uh, that, that will get you the special show pricing on this one which is starting at under $54,000 folks that's under 13 bucks a day for all of this you want to talk about a great rig for a great price this is the one now if you love this setup maybe you want some different features maybe you're not in love with the wood color you want something else we do have some other manufacturers that have a similar floor plan available so if you're interested in one of those you just want to see what else is out there before you pull the trigger not a problem at all text the word fresh to 46642 and that'll give you access to over a hundred thousand pieces of inventory we have here on the lot and on order and again we'll help navigate you through to make sure you find the perfect front bath rear kitchen mid-living fifth wheel for you let's head outside take a look at some of the extra features here nice solid steps folks i absolutely love these the more ride step above step system now and because this is a saber you'll see they actually had that uh kind of engraved right there in the plate or cut out which is kind of a nice little feature but aluminum treads they aren't going to rust you have the grip tape extra big grab handle there so you have great control when entering or exiting the rv one of my favorite parts though is right up here in this one where you have a rear kitchen mid-living front bath they still were able to give you an outside kitchen so you have your little wash basin right here your sink you'll see a fridge that's I know, I know what I'm using this for. You know, it may be different for you, but this one's not built for kiddos, so there's not gonna be much juice in here unless it's getting mixed with vodka, if you catch my drift. Uh, but more than likely, I'll have a couple beers in there. I love the fact it's nice and easy to access, even if it's condiments, right? You know, even if you're not a drinker, great, that's awesome. You can fill that up with ketchup, relish, mustard, whatever else. You're out here making hot dogs, hamburgers over the fire. Maybe you hook your grill up. There's a propane quick connector right here. So you can hook your favorite grill up right there, whatever you want to use. Grab those condiments, start making all sorts of delicious food. Coming up front, just want to show you a couple other, or a couple other things here. Mainly this one. So if you take a look, this right here is that inverter I was talking about, pure sine wave inverter that is dedicated to the refrigerator. And right over to this side, folks, this one also has auto level. Again, for the price you're looking at, starting at under 54,000, you're getting all that inside, plus you're getting auto level with the touch of a button. This bad puppy's gonna level itself out. As I said, folks, if this is the one for you, text that word RV. Uh, to 46642. This is the 2021 Forest River Sabre 37 FBT. And if you already got a deal on this one and somehow they made it uh, under 54K, which I know they didn't, but if they did, if you got a better deal, all you have to do is text the word BEAT to B-E-A-T. And if we can't beat it, we'll give you a thousand bucks.
demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. This is Bryce, I'm Nellie, and we are the Journeys. We are full-time RVers with our two little girls. We have an almost three-year-old and a seven-month-old. We have done all 50 states in our RV. We moved from a Class A to a fifth wheel and we're going strong. We have partnered with Camping World, Good Sam, and Gander RV during this Ultimate RV Show National Tour to go to 10 different locations throughout the country, show you all that they have to offer, and actually hide geocache treasures throughout this tour. So make sure you follow along with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour and join us as we go across the country on this tour. This is Bryce. I am Nelly. We are the Durgies, and we. This is our segment about must-haves, things you must have. Yeah, some of these things uh, are stuff you don't think you need until you need it, and if you don't have it, huge regret. We're gonna start off with that. <laughs> There's a lot of items here, but the first category. This is from experience too. Okay, so this is it. We're gonna talk about things that uh, you can get by without at first, but you'll regret it if you need it and don't have it. Yep. Tire pressure monitoring system right here. This is one that's in Camping World Gander locations. What this does is it, you screw it onto the uh, air caps of your tires and it'll notify you if the pressure gets too low or the temperature's too hot before a blowout happens. Now, we got this after Bryce watched several YouTube videos about some RV crashes and he was like, <laughs> all right, let's get these bad boys. Yeah, so yeah. we got those and we feel safer with them. Best to play safe with this. <laughs> this is another one of those things, a surge protector. This is for a 50 amp. We actually have this model. If the power comes too strong, it doesn't let it damage your RV, and if the power is too low, it also shuts off so that you don't have your AC units running with too low of power. What that does is it makes them work too hard and they burn up and can fry your electric. So, also very important. Two little things that you can get by without, but, but if you, you don't have. you want to have it yeah. when time comes. Then we got everything for sewage right here. Bryce, you're, you're really good at the sewage part. <laughs> I, I am the, <laughs> somehow our sewage just gets taken care of and Nellie doesn't know, know how, it's but like magic. it just happens. But <laughs> when you get a sewage hose, we like to recommend ones that have a clear elbow. Yep. So you can see when the filth is through. <laughs> the filth. And then uh, <laughs> this is also a water pressure regulator. Um, you don't know mm -hmm. what the pressure is going to be like at different RV parks. This keeps it at a safe pressure. Because it can burst your pipes and you don't want that happening. Uh-huh. You don't. What, what was that one time when you went to put it on the water outside and it just... It made like a six-inch hole in the ground yeah. within you 10 seconds. You just never know what you're going to get. Yeah. So that's important. And then for hoses, this isn't at, like absolutely necessary, but something like this to hold it and a non-kink hose right here just makes the experience way easier. Now, speaking of hoses, we do love our heated hose. Now, we actually just went through, like you guys know, a winter vortex. It's pretty cold. <laughs> and Bryce still found water, not yep. ice, water in our hose after putting it away. Yeah, it wasn't froze. So frozen. Um, it keeps it warm enough so it doesn't freeze your lines and it keeps, yeah, that helps. Especially, we also went to different RV parks where they required you to have one if you're going to use water as well. Great to have. Also, a personal must. You guys ready for this? Get ready. This is called a Sherpie. It's not needed. Okay. And through this winter vortex, <laughs> I have worn it 24-7. It's needed. 24-7. <laughs> It's real warm. It's great. Yeah, it covers your whole so body. Yeah, so comfy here, too. One fits all. So make sure you get a Sherpie. <laughs> and speaking of warmth, little things like this. Um, on your air vents, they obviously close, but there's just that plastic. So this keeps the heat in. Um, very helpful there. We've got step stool because for the tall cabinets. Not all of us are 6'5". Yeah. But anyway, guys, there's our summer must-haves. We have a lot of great things coming your way. Feel free to check it out, and let's take it away from here. Heartland has RVs to help everyone launch their life's journeys. All new designs and floor plans provide choices for every type of camper. Whether you're a solo RVer, a family, a retiree, or something in between, come find your perfect model. 
because buying a Heartland should feel like you're joining our family. So let's hit the road and enjoy life's great adventures together. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With plans as low as $5.50 a month, you can't afford to get stuck without it. Man, I love an RV with a big old bathroom, and this baby has a big one in the back, folks. Again, these are RVs with big bathrooms, and the Salem 22 RBS is not going to let you down. As we take a look in this floor plan, I think this one is very well designed. They did a lot of things in a smaller space. This one's coming in under 27 foot, and it seems big and open. I mean, as you can see right here, this big slide with the refrigerator and kind of the open sofa space with the table, uh, it just really helps open things up. Right? Rather than having a dinette here that kind of sticks out, it just really opens this space and makes it very workable. Uh, starting off right here in the kitchen, again, I always love to start off on the kitchen just because A, it's going to be a focal point to the RV, and B, I do a lot of cooking when I camp, so I like to see what I'm working with. And even though we have a big bathroom, we have a fantastic kitchen space here as well. You can see right here, you get all this prep space, and I love having that. You know, we still have a big sink and a cooktop, but they allowed this big prep space, which I absolutely love. Uh, beautiful backsplash on there too, and you can see it does go uh, behind the cooktop as well as all the way along the countertop here. And I'm glad they brought it over. A lot of manufacturers will just put it behind the cooktop and maybe the sink, you know, just put it on one wall. But by bringing it over for me, it just helps kind of complete that whole look and bring everything together. Across the top, you'll see that decorative glass, almost like a honeycomb pattern, looks pretty cool. Good storage all the way throughout there as well. Microwave and hood up top here. And when we drop down, as I mentioned, you have your three burner cooktop, which is recessed. So again, if you need to, you can use this as prep space if you're not uh, using the burners. If you do need to use them, this folds up and back just like so. That will give you access to those three burners. That front one is high output. The knobs light up. You can turn it off if you're not into that look, but just note that button also will control the light in your oven. Uh, but it, of course it has the oven if you wanna do any baking. Now, next to the cooktop is the sink. The in, in, you know, I like this too. A lot of people, you know, there's some different schools of thought on if you want a big single basin, if you want the split bowl. Um, there's advantages to both, right? When you have a split bowl like this, it makes it a lot easier to wash and rinse dishes, which I know for a lot of people is a big plus. Uh, but it does make it a little bit harder if you're using some big, you know, residential style cookware. Rather than buying, you know, like camper cookware, if you have some big pots, it may not fit down in here. Uh, but, you know, again, it does make it a heck of a lot easier to wash and rinse dishes and you don't have to have like a separate tub or basin or anything to, to make that usable. You'll also see the high rise kind of industrial style faucet, a little bit darker here, which I like, you know, it's good contrast to the light countertops and the lighter sink. Um, you know, as we, we kind of take a look all throughout here, you can see, you know, beautiful flooring in here as well. Again, they, they did a good job of having some light and dark colors, a little bit darker wood, but kind of that lighter, uh, that herringbone tile or herringbone kind of wood look on the floor, which I think is a really good look. Underneath the countertop, we'll open it up right here, you'll see you do have two drawers. And if you've ever seen my videos, you know that I say you have to have at least one drawer, preferably two in the kitchen. And they did an excellent job for that. So you have a spot for all your flatware and anything else you need really. Plus, there is a big spot for a trash can, which I love. You gotta have a spot for it, don't want my bag hanging out, and that will do a good job of taking care of that. Entertainment center will be located here. You kind of have this shiplap wall board, which I love. You'll also see you have this for your cables, um, so that way you can run your cables through, and you can see that it'll also go right down into here to connect to that uh, the, your multimedia center. This one does control the, the sound bar itself as well as the speakers outside. You'll also see a HDMI and USB port on there. So all that is built right into that sound bar. And then you will see some of your components for, um, you know, your, your king for Wi-Fi, electrical outlet, and then uh, over the air cable will be there as well. Or over the air antenna rather. And of course, again, a nice big spot for our TV. Now underneath is a fireplace. Cool thing about this folks is that's not just for looks. That is a space heater and a lot of people don't think about that. But you know, if you're out camping and it, you know, as long as you have shore power, cause it does run off 120. So as long as you have shore power or generator, you can run that fireplace. It'll do a pretty good job of taking the chill off in this space and you won't have to burn through any propane. 
Come around with me a second to the side and take a look in the pantry. I love this. This is something that manufacturers started doing about uh, about a year, maybe a year and a half, two ago. Um, kind of this floor plan, right? They realized, hey, if we bring the entertainment center out a little bit, we can put all this storage behind it. And they started doing that a couple different ways. This is one of them right here. Some other floor plans, what'll happen is you'll have an entertainment center and it'll be on hinges and you can uh, push the whole thing open and there's a bunch of storage behind it. So a couple different ways to get to it. Now, uh, we're obviously, you know, we know what those floor plans are. You know, if that's kind of something you're interested in where, you, you know, you like the hidden storage, folks, all you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642. We can help you out. We can show you some of those floor plans, whether you're looking for a bunk model, rear bath, whatever it may be, but kind of help you distinguish of, oh, you want something with a lot of storage, but you want to be able to sleep, you know, six people. Great. I got it for you. This one we're in right now is not going to be the one, of course, because you can sleep three, but if you're looking for something with a rear bath and a great setup, then this right here might be the one for you. Now come on in, because as I said, this one is all about big rear bathrooms. And what's the, what's the great advantage to rear bathrooms or large rear bathrooms, right? It's gonna be a couple things. One, you obviously just have a lot more space when you're sitting here to do your business, you know? I mean, listen, I'm not saying I'm gonna sit in here and read a novel, but you know, I, I may read an article, may read a short story, right? You know, uh, my wife might yell at me because I'm, I'm taking a break while she's out with the kids and I'm getting a breather in here. That may or may not happen. Uh, but, you know, I want to make sure I, I have enough space, and, and I definitely do. Good shoulder space, good leg space right here around the toilet. The other nice thing about having a large bathroom is it gives you a place to change. A lot of times up in the bedroom, it's a little bit tighter space. So when you have a large bathroom like this, right, I, I have space where I can actually change clothes. And if you take a look, if you're able to get in here a second, Kevin, I don't know if I can open it up far enough with that angle. There you go. So if we can get right in there, you can see that you have a big wardrobe there too. So you have a good spot to hang your clothes. Plus you have more storage underneath. So you still have a linen closet in here, which is fantastic. Mirrored medicine cabinet over to the side. Nice big countertop here. And then if we take a look underneath that, again, more storage. So you know, if, if, you're, if you've bought an RV before and you're like, man, I just don't have enough storage in my bathroom, folks, when you get a nice big rear bath like this, you definitely don't have to worry about it again. The deep linen closet right over here. There is some plumbing running through there, uh, but there's still more than enough space. And when I step into the shower, because I know this is another big one for people, take a look, folks. I'm six foot tall. Even without that skylight, I'm not hitting the ceiling. With that skylight, I can probably be 6'2 and not have to bend down in here, which is pretty great. But it's not all about the rear bath, right? That's just, that's just one portion of it. You need to make sure the rest of the floor plan is functional too. And that's where this comes in. This is one of the reasons I love the 22 RBS by Salem. Uh, so a couple different things to note here. One, there is a table. It slides in right here. There's an arm, so you have a table. So this does kind of become your eating space, right? The thing I love about it though is kind of like right now, you can remove that. So if you just want a sofa, if you just want a place for people to sit around and watch TV, you can do that. You also get kind of this lounge right here on the end. So if I want to, you know, post up right here and watch TV, I have a great shot to it. I'm super comfortable. You know, this would probably be my primary seat in the house. If it's just the two of you, you can have, you know, someone lay down right here, can have my head's wife on my lap and, you know, we're just chilling, relaxing and, and really kind of uh, getting comfortable. But the, the other thing I love about this one is the fact you have great storage underneath. So I'll open this up for you and look at that. They already give you bins. Now, listen, I, I realize these are plastic and they, you know, they probably cost like 20 cents to make and the manufacturer probably buys them for like two bucks. But the thing I love about these is they are built to fit, right? You don't have to take measurements. You don't have to go out to the store and try to find what's going to work. You already have one of these in all three compartments. The other thing, whoops, the other thing that I love about this one is this right here. This drops down just like that and makes a huge bed. Take a look at this. At six foot tall, I can get a pillow right here and I can fully lay out, folks. I mean, again, I could be 6'2 and still be able to sleep here as an adult. That's something that you normally can't get, especially in a travel trailer this size with this layout. It just would never happen. So uh, I love the sleeping capability. If you do have a friend or something that wants to stay the night, you have a place they can crash or you know, maybe, maybe you get in a fight, you're in the doghouse, need to sleep on the couch, you can do that too. 
Right over here is our fridge, Everchill, 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. This one's fantastic. Uh, it cools down nice and quickly. And you know, it's, it's gonna just run off 12 volts. So it's gonna run off your battery power. Now, the neat thing about these is they are pretty low power consumption. So if you have solar and you ha I I'd recommend having two batteries just to make sure they're nice and charged up. Uh, you can basically run this nearly indefinitely, which is pretty awesome if you're someone who likes to do some boondocking. And bear in mind, this one also has a 40 gallon fresh tank, 60 gallon gray and 30 gallon black. So you have a larger than normal fresh tank and huge gray tank capacity. So in, which, in case you don't know, if you're new to RVing, your gray tank is usually the one that fills up first before your black. So having that bigger capacity will let you stay out longer before you have to dump the tanks. Coming up front real quick here, just want to show you a few quick things before we head outside. One of them, this is the table. So in case you're wondering what the table looks like, you know, nice big table. Again, two people can very comfortably eat at that table. You will see cubby holes on both sides. I love that because it gives you a spot to, you know, put some different items, whether it's your cell phone or if you have a CPAP machine, you can put it in here. They'll, and, and they planned on it. The electrical outlet is right here. So that way you can put your CPAP machine in there, run the cables right through, you're good to go. Um, you will see the, the hanging rods on both sides, storage across the top. And then there is big storage underneath. I'll lift this up and you can see a couple different things. One, you have these bins you can just easily access without having to lift the bed. Two, you have all that extra storage and that is access, uh, that's accessible rather from both inside as well as through the pass-through. So let's head outside real quick. We'll take a couple look at some of the features out there and uh, you'll see that, you know, the features don't stop on the inside. There's a lot of great features out here too. So let's, let's take a quick peek. I do just wanna show you in that pass-through again. You can see the struts, and as I said, that has that same access from inside. We talked about solar for that 12 volt fridge. If you want solar, this one has it. All you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, it will trickle charge that battery. And again, if you plan on doing some boondocking, that's probably something you're gonna want, it can be pretty important. Power tongue jack right up front here, folks. This makes it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You also see a battery disconnect right back here, which I like. Uh, what that is, is you can flip that and it will kill all power to the uh, RV so you're not getting that slow drain. Another thing that's really uh, neat on the Salem, it's kind of unique, is this right here. You have these JT strong arms, which um, basically help support the unit, right? So when your stabilizers come down, it kind of creates a triangle, which if you're not familiar, is one of the strongest structures we have in nature. And so that will help stabilize that RV so it's not rocking around as you're moving around inside. Beautiful, smooth aluminum front end on there as well. Nice and easy to clean, folks. This is a gorgeous RV, especially for the size. You're looking at the 2021 Forest River Salem 22 RBS. If you're interested in this one, folks, simply text the word RV to 46642, and you can be the brand new owner of this one starting under $27,000 or as low as $667 a month. Thank goodness we got Ian back indoors. My goodness. Sean Parr, I'm with two lovely ladies. I've got my friend Renee over here from the Tilbys. Good to see you and always good to, good see, to see Nelly, who lets me hang out and babysit her kids. <laughs> I have become Uncle Sean on the Ultimate RV Show National Call Tour. Kids. Call the kids. And I love this. We are in Wichita, Kansas, and uh, I'll tell you something right now. The Ultimate Giveaways continue. Guys, we need to give away a gift card, Woo! and I'm not going to do $100 this time. I'm not even going to do $200 this time. It's not my money. I'm going to do $250. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. And so we awesome. have a winner. You want to uh, say the winner, Nellie? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's right, do it. it we is... have... Oh, my gosh. It is... You're right. This is like a country I know, singer total name. total country right? singer. Rhett Cody. Woo! Rhett Cody. Woo! If that doesn't say go out and buy my country album tomorrow, <laughs> I don't know what does, but Rhett Cody or coming up live on NBC. It's Rhett Cody. That's right. Doesn't it sound like that? It's perfect. Sounds good. It's perfect. Yeah, Starting I mean, so you were just showing all this amazing retail stuff, the must-haves from mm -hmm. the Jurgies. So fun. What can $250 buy? Most of that stuff. Honestly, yeah. $250 can go a long way at Camping World. Especially if you're a member of Good Sam because you get the big 40% discount. You know, it's so amazing. And you can get stuff. Like my kids, they got some chairs today. It's amazing you get that 40% discount. You guys needed some new chairs. We I'm were, very glad you invested were so in that. so bad. <laughs> the most adorable thing is uh, Renee has five children, and your son just walked around, and he's got his chair, and he holds Carrying it, and everywhere around. he stops, he puts it down unpacks it, boom, it's in. And guess what we're going to do now? We're going to go east to west with an amazing Silver Lake. And I told you we were going to make Ian work today. This guy is so busy. Take a look at this one. So let's say you love everything about the Salem, but you're like, Ian, I just want maybe something that has a fixed dinette and a sofa. Maybe I don't like the lounge combination. 
Well, you're in good luck because as I said, folks, there's a lot of floor plans out there that are very similar. We know the differences. We're here to help you out. All I have to do is text that word FRESH to 46642. And this is a perfect example because this right here is the 2021 East to West Silver Lake 26KRB. Now, this one is a little bit longer. You're looking at about 30 and a half feet, right? Just shy of it. But what it does is it takes the floor plan, extends it out a little bit, and rather than having a lounge, if you take a look here, you will see it gives you a super slide with the jackknife sofa and the fixed dinette. So as we go through, you'll see a few other differences, right? But just kind of bear that in mind. But this is what I'm talking about, right? As you're out there, as you're shopping, you know, you can start looking at some of the different RV styles. I like this floor plan, but I want this. Maybe it's some subtle changes. Folks, lean on us, let us help you out. Now, today, you know, you get the benefit of, I'm gonna show you some of the differences right here. So as we talk about uh, the, the Silver Lake 26, you will see that they changed, they shifted your sink a little bit, right? They kind of shifted it over here where the countertop was, your prep space. Now you have prep space right in the center. So a little bit different. Uh, still, you know, nice, upgraded, beautiful countertops, undermounted, stainless steel sink right there. You know, you have the, again, the high rise industrial style faucet, absolutely gorgeous faucet there. The electrical outlet over to this side with plenty of spot or plenty of space there for a coffee maker. Now your backsplash doesn't quite extend as far. You will see they give you a window though, which is great. But the backsplash is going to be just behind the cooktop, that three burner cooktop right there. And you also notice this one isn't recessed, it's raised up. And then you have the oven underneath to do some baking. Now over to this side is your bank of drawers. You know, you get three drawers in this one, so one more drawer than we had in the Salem. And you still have a big, a nice big spot there for the trash can. Up top is your storage. They went with wood instead of glass. So if you like that look more, you'll be in luck with this one. You'll all see the microwave over to this side, hood underneath, and then they have the Dometic standard refrigerator. So by standard, I mean the fact that this one does run off both propane and electric. So if that's something you're looking for, uh, you know, again, different manufacturers will use different refrigerators, especially nowadays. It used to be, you know, it was just your propane and electric, and then some of them started going to residential. And now, as I mentioned, a lot of them even have 12 volt refrigerators. So uh, the, what are the differences, right? Uh, the big thing here is if you plan on going somewhere and you don't want to rely on solar and battery power, you want to just rely on propane, then this is your unit, right? Straight out of the gate, you can boondock with this. You will be absolutely fine. If you want to invest a little bit in that solar, then you can boondock a little bit easier with that 12 volt fridge. But if you try to do it right out of the gate, you're going to drain down your batteries pretty quick. And uh, you're going to come back and, and yell at me because you didn't watch this video when I told you. <laughs> if you come on in a little bit further. So again, as far as the entertainment center, this is going to be something that's pretty familiar, right? We have the entertainment center that is directly across from our seating area, right where we want it. Uh, you know, we lose the fireplace there, but you do still have a multimedia center. And instead of the fireplace, you will see you get a little bit of extra storage. So it's just kind of, you know, what works best for you. Coming around to the side. Boom, there it is. Nice big pantry. Now this pantry is deeper, right? It's bigger, you have bigger shelves. Uh, has a motion sensor light in there, which is really nice. That way, as soon as you open it up, the light pops on. You'll see the shelves don't come all the way forward. So if you have like a Swiffer or a skinny vacuum you wanna put in there, chances are you can. And the other thing I like about it is you have all that space on the floor. So as soon as you walk in, I can kick my shoes off and toss them right in there. That way you don't have a bunch of shoes right here, not tripping all over them. Now, of course, this segment is all about big bathrooms, and just like we saw in the last two, folks, you get a nice big bathroom right back here. Take a seat on the toilet, you know, more space than a man could need. Over to the side, huge countertop space. That's one of the big pros of this 26 KRB is all the countertop space. I know, you know, my wife and I have gone camping several times, and that's one of the things oftentimes, uh, you know, that she says a lot of RVs lack is bathroom countertop. You know, you have all sorts of stuff you're putting on there, you know, hair product, toothbrush. Um, you know, I, uh, I use like my little beard trimmer, right? Like, you know, you have all this stuff that you're using or that's sitting out, set a hair dryer down. A lot of times you just don't have space. When you get into a nice big rear bath like this, sometimes it will give you that uh, much wanted space. You also see the medicine cabinet there right up top. 
uh, storage, a little bit of storage here underneath, we can see that. And then as we look across the way, right here is your linen closet and the shower. And once again, I will step in just to show you that here, you don't have a problem, folks. Again, headspace, six foot tall with that skylight can be six, two, six, three, be able to shower in here, no problem. You have the built-in uh, kind of shower door, which this is nice. So it just locks into place just like that. And then when you're done, it just winds right back up. The cool thing about that is it is uh, mold resistant, so you don't have to worry about it molding or anything. You can just have it you know, zip right back in and it'll be just fine, which is a, a big plus. Right? You don't have to sit there and have to wipe it down, that's a pain. Making our way back out, that super slide right here on the off camp side, folks, and that again really helps open up this living area. Jackknife sofa, the big advantage of a jackknife, of course, is all of the storage you get underneath. Now. When I lay this one out flat, lay down on it, what you'll notice is I don't have as much space, right? And this is pretty common for a jackknife. And to be honest, this is a little bit bigger than, than some of the others out there. Um, but, you know, in the Salem, whereas I could lay down at six foot here, right, I'm going to have to curl up a little bit to, to make it work. So it can still work, but it's just not going to be as comfortable for your guests. So, you know, again, that's one of those things that you have to weigh out. Do you want... Uh, you know, more comfortable sleeping place, or, you know, do you want something that's a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, um, you know, and then has a little bit different design, right? And it doesn't have a fixed dinette like this one does right here. Now, the great thing about this fixed dinette is this is a very large dinette. And what I mean by that is when I sit here, here, you know what, I'll scoot, I'll scoot all the way in. I mean, Kevin, look at all the space I have, right? Like there is a ton of space here. I mean, you can easily, very easily sit four people here, um, you know, four people in this dinette. Honestly, if you have a little one, you might be able to fit, you know, six people in here. It's just, a, it's a very wide dinette. And for me, as I always say, you know, I, I like a little bit of elbow room and even still, you know, if I'm eating, you know, if I'm blocking my food, like a football player, as my wife always says, um, you know, I still have more than enough space again for four people to sit here very, very comfortably, which is great. And for, for me, for someone who likes to play a lot of games when I camp, whether it's with family, whether it's with friends, whatever it may be, I like board games. My wife loves puzzles. So having a bigger table like this might be something that you know would interest us. might be something that interests you as well. Another big one, another big selling point of Silver Lake, come on into the bedroom here, is this. The fact that Silver Lakes come with a king size bed. And when I say that, this is a full, it's 72 inches uh, wide by 80 inches long. You get that full 80 inch residential length, which a lot of times uh, you, is missing, right? A lot of times you'll have like a camper queen or a camper king where it's short. Not at all the case here. You get the nice big full size king, uh, full king size bed. You will have electrical outlets and USB ports on the side there in case you need to plug anything in. Of course, storage all around the top and wardrobes on the side. And if you do want TV, You'll see that there is TV hookup right there, as well as a backer built into the wall, so that way you can have a TV right here in the bedroom. So again, folks, as we start to take a look at some of these, you know, uh, rear bath floor plans, right? If, if this is the one, if you're like, Ian, I love the Silver Lake, I love everything about it, you know, I love the price point starting at under $25,000, you know, $6.18 a day, perfect. All you have to do is text the word RV to 46642. But maybe you're not quite sure, right? Maybe you're not quite ready to pull the trigger, and I completely understand. I always recommend doing a lot of research, you know, and, and reaching out, making sure that you're getting into the right RV for you. And folks, again, that's what we're here for. Text that word FRESH to 46642. That'll give you access to over 100,000 pieces of inventory we have on the lot and that we have coming in and we can help walk you through whether it's this rear bath whether it's a different rear bath maybe it's not a rear bath at all maybe it's a rear living floor plan you know maybe it's a mid-living rear kitchen it's great we have them all again available or coming in and we can help make sure you find the perfect one for you let's head on outside take a look at some of the outside features on the silver lake come on down the stairs here and you know i, I always like to start right up front so let's go ahead and do that and we can see Right on the very front here, you have this nice smooth aluminum front. And that's something I really like, not only from an aesthetic standpoint, but also the fact that it's much easier to clean. You'll see the power tongue jack located here. So you can literally just flip a button to raise and lower the tongue. Makes it super simple when you're hooking up or disconnecting from your tow vehicle. And you have a light for added visibility at night. Making my back a little bit further, a couple things on the front I want to point out. You'll see the diamond plating there as well as uh, the fully insulated uh, heated uh, underbelly there too. So that way if you plan on doing some 
a little bit later season camping, having that enclosed and heated underbelly will help prevent your lines and tanks and stuff from freezing up on you. If you do want solar, this one is prepped for it. So again, just buy portable panels, plug it in right there. It'll trickle charge everything. Then you can see the big pass through. We have plenty of space right in there. Making our way back, power awning with an LED light. You have a couple outside speakers here as well as TV hookup. So if you want a TV, you want to watch the game, you're capable or you have the ability rather to do that. Another thing I do want to talk about right back here is a black tank flush. This is a super handy feature. Um, you know, a lot of manufacturers actually don't put this on. I, I wish all of them would, but what this does instead of having to put a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, which for the record, you should do every time you're done camping. Instead, you just hook up that hose right here. That black tank has sprayers built in and it washes out for you. Now, why do you want to wash out your black tank? A couple of reasons. One, uh, to help keep the smells down, right? I mean, it's a black tank. We know what's going in there. We want to make sure we're getting all that out. Two is to make sure you're getting good reads on your sensors because what will happen is you'll get toilet paper and some other solids that will dry out uh, on those sensors and then it will give you false readings. So, you know, if you're pushing the button it keeps saying your tank is three quarters full even though you just dumped it, that's probably what happened. So by washing that black tank out, it will help eliminate that issue. Now, folks, if let's say you're out there and you find an east to west, uh, whether it's a Silver Lake, a Delaterra, whatever it may be, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is the perfect RV for me. And, you know, the dealer's like, oh yeah, I got you the best deal ever, you know, and, and you're taking his word for it, don't, right? Double check, come to us, come to Camping World because our prices will not be beat. We just won't do it. And here's the thing, we guarantee it because if we can't beat the price, we'll give you a thousand bucks in your pocket. Worst case scenario, you get the best deal out there and the dealership you were at is telling you the truth that they had, they gave you a great deal. Now you're a thousand dollars richer. Now you can buy all the stuff you need to go inside your RV. So don't miss up the opportunity. All you have to do is text the word DEAL, which is D-E-A-L, to that uh, 46642 number or drop it in the comments section below. And folks, again, this has been Big rear bath travel trailers, or rather RVs. We have a bunch of great ones. There's a lot more out there. As I said, over 100,000 pieces of invent inventory. To get your hands on it, text that word FRESH, 46642. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed. Or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Just doing my little, my little dance here. I like big bathrooms. That's what uh, Ian said earlier. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, Sean, we introduced that segment, too. I know you guys really like that a lot. But one of the things we're going into right now is, and we were just looking at some of these beautiful so units. So nice. The Radiant Rear uh, kitchens, which are so gorgeous. It's amazing what they can fit into such a small space. I mean, they're, they're just, they're giving you more counter space, which is what you need when you're in one of these RVs. There's a lot of usable space. I think having that U shape on the back and you see a nice window out to the, you know, your gorgeous views you drove to, just so nice. I love those rear kitchens. If you don't follow the Tilbys, uh, Renee and Sean, they do a lot of refurbishing and they really pay attention to some of the small details in some of the kitchens, like the right. backsplash, like all the things that Ian's going to show us here in just a few right. moments. We really want a space that's not only super usable, but beautiful as well. And I just like seeing something that has a really great layout. I just well, love that. And let's think about this. And you guys, were we were talking about this off the air. Uh, season is coming up. RV season is coming up. Spring break is a couple of weeks away. It's Are crazy. you so crazy. going to be ready? Let's get the RV that's going to fit your lifestyle. Right now, let's take a look at some of those amazing kitchens. Ian, you're up, pal. Let's talk about some Radiant Rear Kitchens. Folks, this session is all about awesome rear kitchen floor plans, and this right here is one of them. Now, when you think rear kitchen, traditionally you think big, beautiful countertops, and we have one of those coming up next. But I really like this session because I have a couple of smaller floor plans. We have the Passport right here. We have an Outback we're going to look at a little bit later. And both are pretty similar. But here's why I love them. Because it's a rear kitchen. It has excellent seating. And uh, you're looking at under 27 foot and just a little over 5,100 pounds. So it's fairly lightweight. And you're getting awesome motorhome, folks. This one right here, as I mentioned, is the Passport 229RK. It's starting at under 32000 which is like $7.66 a day. Let's start off right here on the campsite. And as I said, there's a lot to love when we're talking about these floor plans. We'll get to that rear kitchen that I love so much in a second. But first, one of the things I really enjoy when manufacturers do is this right here, which is give you a campsite dinette. And why, you may ask? Well, 
because this is the view that, that I want in the morning, right? I want to sit here. I want to have my cup of coffee, eating my breakfast. I want to look out to my campsite, see my dog laying out there, or, you know, seeing the, the ashes of the campfire from the night before, or maybe the kids are out playing. You know, I have a good vision right there. You know, they, they can be outside. They can be on my campsite playing. I can sit right here with my wife having a cup of coffee, and I can watch them play and, you know, let them do their thing, and I have eyes on them the whole time. So this right here is the view that I want. You know, maybe I have awesome neighbors, and, and I, I want to look at my neighbors for some reason. I have the capability to do that, right? But more often than not, this right here is what I want to see. And also, the dinette is plenty large for four people, so, you know, if you want to sit here and have a, a meal with guests, you can do that. And, and even if it's just the two of you, I mean, you know, I, I have a lot of uh, elbow space that I require when I eat, right? Doing one of these, elbowing people next to me in the face. And this right here is absolutely perfect for me. Um, you know, I'm a little bit broader in the shoulder, so this gives me plenty of space. Now, bear in mind, if you do have guests, this does drop down into a bed. It's not a huge bed. Um, you know, they, they, they say that this floor plan will sleep three, and it will. Just know that if you have an adult that's sleeping here, they'll probably have to curl up a little bit, right, um, in order to be able to fit on the bed, unless, unless they're shorter, and then they'll be just fine. But to, to drop that down into a bed, you simply remove these posts right here that does drop down, take the back cushions, put them right on top. And this is, uh, you know, kind of like a, a synthetic leather, which means it's going to clean up nice and easily too, which I really enjoy. So, you know, if you're having a little bit of red wine and you spill some, no big deal. You can wipe it right up. You're good to go. It's not like it's going to stain cloth or anything like that. If we take a look underneath... Look at that, folks. This right here is my favorite type of under dinette storage, and that is a big pull-out drawer. Why? Well, if you don't have anything here, you have to lift up the cushion to be able to access things under there. One, it's, uh, I don't know, kind of cumbersome, and two, if people are sitting there, you can't access anything. With a door that just swings open, well, now I have to get down on my hands and knees like I am right now to be able to get in there and reach in there and be able to grab items. With this, I literally just pull it open, grab what I need, put it right back. I can do that on both sides. Uh, and so, you know, for me, again, that is definitely the preferable type of storage there. Take a look up top, storage on both sides, flanking that TV. There is some additional storage back there. So if you have auxiliary equipment, you have a place to put it there. Uh, but the TV has a perfect perfect shot right over here to the theater seating. That's right. We're in a smaller floor plan, perfect couples model, rear kitchen, campsite dinette, and you get theater seating across from a TV, which is why I love this one, which is why for me, I call this the radiant rear kitchen, right? Like, you know, it, it, although the kitchen isn't quite as big as, as some of the rear kitchens we've seen, this is an awesome floor plan right here. Great view. If you have company, if you have guests, they're sitting there at the dinette too, right? You can have conversation. Everyone can be in the conversation here together. You have a center console, you know, so you have an armrest, some cup holders there. These, of course, both recline. And as we saw just a minute ago, you have windows there so you can, you know, look out to the, your neighbor's campsite if you want. Maybe you have buddies over there. Uh, and this side window actually opens. That's something a lot of manufacturers will try to save a little money here uh, by putting in just like a, a standard piece of glass or what they call a picture window, a window that doesn't open. But this one right here actually is a, a slider window, so that way um, you, know, you can get some airflow into that slide, which is great. Now let's make our way back into the kitchen itself. So, a couple different things. You have Dometic, fridge, freezer combo. This one does run off both propane and electric here. Right up top is some additional storage. You can take a look at that. Right, nice and easy to get into. More storage over to this side. I, these poles are very unique too. They're very, um, I, I don't know, it's, it's like a, a modern farmhouse mix, right? Between the color of the cabinets, the poles, you know, they're, they're hard angles, making them a little more modern, but they're oil rub bronze and they're, they just kind of blend in really well. Um, I don't know, I, th I think it was an interesting choice. I, I honestly personally like them. Uh, you know, you guys let me know what you think. I absolutely love it though, but you'll see storage right up top there, a bank of drawers all the way down here. And again, you know, we can open that up nice and easy, running all the way down. The bottom one's a little bit deeper for some of your larger items. Big countertop space both here and in the back. And so you have good prep space all the way throughout. If you want a coffee maker, this is a perfect spot for it right here too because you have that electrical outlet hanging out. Three burner cooktop with a glass cover. That of course is recessed, folded up and back just like so. That opens up that grate. So if you have a, you know, a, a, anything that you want to uh, cook, obviously on the cooktop you can do so. More important, this front one is high output. So if you're in a higher altitude, you need to boil water, that front one will be the one that you'll want to use. Oven underneath, if you need to do some baking, 
and of course hood and a microwave. And then in the very back is the rest of the kitchen. And again, you have more prep space here. If you don't want the coffee maker over there, you want it here instead. Good news, you have an electrical outlet, you can put it there too. You'll also see an electrical outlet back here. So plenty of outlets in the kitchen. Storage all the way across the top. I mean, I'll open it up, you know, so you can take a look. Good storage there as well as here. Plenty of space for your, you know, your plates, your bowls, your cups underneath the sink. More storage there for your pots and pans, more drawers. One of the things I always say is you have to have at least one drawer in a kitchen, preferably two. And folks in here, we got like seven. I mean, just a ton of drawer space all the way throughout. You kind of have this again, you know, almost like an oil rub bronze, almost into a, a black, um, almost like a matte black high rise pull out faucet there. Sink top cover, this is a cutting board. Now I always recommend using one side, right? So that both sides don't have knife marks. So you have one side that stays pretty. But then when we take that off, you can see that big single basin sink. Now because these are upgraded countertops, it also lets you undermount that stainless steel bowl as you can see. So that way it's nice, easy cleaning. And when you drop this down, it's more of a flush mount. Whereas if you have uh, you know, a, a raised sink, you're not gonna get that. And again, you don't have those um, you know, if you have a top mount sink, you'll get the lips, right? The, the ledge all the way around the sink. You don't have that really making cleanup super simple. Now, right in here is the bathroom. Um, you know, th this is, if I have a downside to this particular unit, this is it, is the fact that it is a little narrow right here, right? So, you know, you kind of have to do like a, a side shimmy. I mean, with my, you know, even with my big butt, I can still sneak in here, but you know, if I try to go this way, it's just not gonna happen, right? You gotta do a little side shimmy in here. And then, but once you're in here, as far as space, uh, shockingly, it, it's actually quite a bit of space. I mean, they cut out the countertop. You know, again, I have plenty of room here. I have no issues whatsoever. I don't feel cramped, good shoulder space, good leg room. You'll see I have a little shelf there. So, you know, if you want a spot for toilet paper, something like that. You also have good floor space. If you want to put like a little trash can in here, you can. Um, or, you know, if you'd rather put it, you know, kind of tuck it away, you can put it right in there too. So a couple different options for that. I also like the fact they use upgraded countertops in here. A lot of manufacturers wouldn't, they would go to a T-mold. So, and they went with a different color, which I think is smart, right? Rather than using the same color as the kitchen, um, no, something a little bit darker, which I actually enjoy. You get plenty of space for anything you need to set down, whether it's toothbrushes, curling iron, whatever it may be. You have a plug in there for those items as well. And then right up top, we can see the nice big mirrored medicine cabinet. Over to the side is our shower. And I'll take a step in here. Uh, one of the things I always like to point out, again, I'm six foot tall, is the fact that without the skylight, right, I wouldn't be able to stand up in here. But they did put this skylight in, uh, and, and I'm pretty close to maxing it out. You might be able to be six one and stand in the center. Any taller than that, you will have to duck down. But at six foot, you know, I have a pretty good free reign here uh, of that skylight. And no matter where I'm at in this shower, I can stand up without having to duck down, which is pretty handy. Uh, so again, folks, this is just one of many rear kitchen floor plans. Uh, ne next up, we'll see one that's a little bit bigger. Then we'll see one, we'll have, an, again, an Outback that's pretty comparable to this. And I'll kind of show you some of the differences. And that's, folks, that's one of the things we're here for, right? We're able to help you identify. You know, you may see one and be like, oh, well, this is exactly what I want. Not realizing that there's another product out there that has a very similar floor plan, but maybe one of the, you know, one or two of the things you didn't like that this other one has perfected, right? So, you know, there's a lot of different options and we're here to help you through that. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 or drop that word FRESH in the comments section below. And that will let us know that, you know, you're looking for our help and we will be there for you helping to navigate through all those different options. Another thing I do want to mention, folks, is, you know, while you're out there RV shopping, I mean, we all know, you know, RVs are, are blowing up, right? People are, are realizing what we've realized for years, which is that RVing is one of the best ways to make memories with families or with loved ones. And it's one of the safest ways possible to currently enjoy time with each other. Uh, but so many people are realizing that. So with that, you may be out there, you may have a, a current deal on an RV. Maybe it's this one right here. Maybe it's this, you know, Passport 229RK. I'm telling you, we will beat any deal out there. All you have to do if you have a deal going, just text the word BEAT, B-E-A-T, that 46642, and we will beat it or we'll give you a thousand dollars. So I'm telling you folks, take the challenge, right? You want to get the best value. We're here to make sure you're going to get the best price or you will be a thousand dollars richer and still obviously have a great price. Making our way outside. So a couple things. One of the things I want to show is the fact this is a friction hinge door, which is great because if you have kids, grandkids, they go to shut that door. You don't have to worry about plastic tabs or anything breaking off in there. When we come up front, 
You can see power tongue jack right there. You have the uh, diamond etch plating kind of along the front. Um, right over here is solar prep. That's important. A lot of people want solar, so you can see that solar prep right there. So you can plug it in, trickle charges your battery. Fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. So if you're doing some extended season camping, it gives you the capability to do that. Big power awning, LED light strip, huge grab handle. This is something newer for this year. I love the size of the grab handle. The big steps here as well. You know, you have the upgraded steps right there. Uh, you know, kind of making our way all the way back. You can see the aluminum alloy wheels, electrical outlet. Coming around to the very back, you'll see your spare tire mounted right here on the back as well as the ladder because this one does have a fully walkable roof. And again, folks, this is just the first of several radiant rear kitchen floor plans we have. Got a little bit bigger one coming up. And after that, as I said, we have an Outback and we'll take a look at some of the differences. It's an American tradition passed down from generation to generation. The love of discovering the outdoors. It's the beauty of nature as you walk the path of a new adventure. We're proud to be a company that celebrates the freedom of the outdoors and the journey of discovery along the way. Making sure wherever the road takes you, we're not that far away. We're Camping World, helping America enjoy the outdoors since 1966. We are a country built on a pursuit. A pursuit that drives us to achieve our goals and reach beyond what we thought was possible. We are a country built on freedom, exploration, and the pursuit of the American dream. So pursue freedom in the great outdoors. Pursue exploration on the road less traveled. Pursue your American dream. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today and see America for less. Another Radiant Rear Kitchen, folks, is the 2021 Keystone Hideout 28R. KS. This one's a little bit bigger than what we saw. You have the huge super slide over here, massive kitchen countertops, great seating all the way throughout, entertainment centers in a great place as well, and you get all of that under 33 foot long and just a little over 7,000 pounds dry, which for the size actually isn't too terribly heavy. Another great thing about this one, folks, you're looking at a 78 gallon gray tank. So if you're planning on getting out there, staying out there for a little while, having that bigger tank is definitely a big bonus. Now, let's take a look at the layout itself. I talk about plenty of seating, and some of my favorite seating will be right here. You see that you have the Thomas Paine chairs, and oh my goodness, are these comfortable. Pull them out a little ways from the wall. You can kick back, relax, put your feet up, take a nap. Ah, yes. That is where it's at, folks. Get a couple people in here, have good conversation. Right across the way is kind of like a, a little love seat, right? Almost like a pseudo theater seating. You know, you don't have the, the console in the middle, which makes it the theater seating, but you have the cup holders on the side that are nice and big, uh, the, the armrests rather that are nice and big with the cup holder. So if anyone's sitting there, you know, you, you kind of have like almost like a mid living room setup right here, right? Couple chairs here, there, got the TV, put the big game on, you got a fireplace, right? Nice and toasty. Man, love it. Right in between is your little uh, end table. So, you know, if, if, you, if you know me, you know that I like to have a little cocktail or two. I have to have a place to set it down, and that's the place to do it. You also see an electrical outlet, so if you need to plug in your laptop, tablet, or anything, doing some work while you're on the road, or maybe you just need to charge your cell phone, good to go. Huge window right here, and I love this too because that's right out to your campsite, folks. I mean, right now we have a wall, but normally that would be out to your campsite, and that's what you want to see. Because, you know, this is where everyone's hanging out, camping, having a good time. You have your fire pit, your chairs, you know, you're watching the kids play with the dog, right? Right there is maybe grandkids. Who knows? Maybe friends you met at the campgrounds. Maybe they're out playing with the dog. Maybe they're playing cards. Maybe they're cheating. Maybe they're out there cheating when you're playing cards. You're in here. You catch them because you have a big window, right? Yeah. Uno my butt. No, just kidding. Uh, you'll see right up top, you have a ton of storage right up there, all the way around the back here as well. Uh, lights tucked away in the cabinets help brighten everything up. And, and I like when manufacturers do something like that too. It really just helps make the kitchen pop. You know, they could have just put wood cabinets up, but I like the glass. 
especially the decorative when it's backlit like that. Uh, kind of reminds me of, you know, a lot of residential trends when you have like lit uppers, right? Like above your cabinets. That is uh, exactly what that reminds me of. Now, before I hit the kitchen, there's one other thing I really want to point out, and that is this right here. Tucked away in that uh, right over there is your central vac. That's a great feature to have, folks, especially, you know, when, when we're looking at the price point of this hideout. I mean, this one is starting at under 28000 which is, you know, under 7 bucks a day is where this one's starting out at. And for that price point to have the great feature like the seating, this big gorgeous kitchen, and a central vac, which makes cleaning up in here an absolute breeze. Uh, again, that's just a big feature to have. Now, when you're talking about radiant rear kitchens, one of the things you have to have is a lot of countertop space, right? The last one we saw, not quite as much, but it's a very unique floor plan. But in here, I mean, you have countertop space galore, right? You have all this prep space over here, or perfect spot for a coffee maker, because you have your electrical outlet there. All of this prep space all the way along here, which I absolutely love. And a recessed cooktop with that glass cover. It obviously can be used for prep. Got the backsplash, couple of drawers here, storage underneath the sink. Speaking of that sink, undermount stainless steel, very modern cut to it. That high rise pull out faucet here too, getting some of those you know, kind of higher end amenities that you want uh, in a rear kitchen. And, and folks, if you take a look at the countertop, you'll see it's upgraded countertop too for a couple reasons. One, they put like a little decorative edge on here. This is the first manufacturer that I've seen do this. Um, I forget what that's called. Is it a, a OG or Ogi or something like that? Anyway, but they put a decorative uh, edge on it, which I, I really like rather than just having it be completely round. Just adds a little something to it. Plus it's uh, it's upgraded countertop and the fact that it's not a T mold, right? So you get like a pseudo solid surface it's nice and lightweight, but it lets you undermount that sink, which for cleaning is awesome. You don't have that, you know, the, the edge of that sink where everything's getting clogged up on. So a uh, big benefit there. Microwave and hood right in the back next to the refrigerator. We'll open this guy up, Norcold fridge freezer combo. You can take a look in there. You see that you have plenty of space. Um, you know, this one is a uh, 12 volt as well, so it can stay, um, you know, nice and cool just with your batteries. That will basically run that. Now, if you plan on going somewhere you don't have shore power, you are just running off batteries, I do recommend making sure you have enough solar to support it. Otherwise, of course, it is going to drain those batteries down fairly quickly. So, uh, you know, if that's something you're looking to do, if you plan on doing uh, a little bit more boondocking, again, folks, all you have to do is text that keyword FRESH to 46642. Talk to our specialists. They'll help you out. Make sure we're getting the right unit for you as well as you know anything else you need like solar you know we can help you size those solar panels we have people available if you want satellite in your rv we can help make sure you're getting the right satellite whether it's roof mounted whether it's a portable unit making sure you know if it's dish or direct tv and how many tvs you want to hook up we can help you with all of that. That's what we're here for. We're the experts in it. Lean on us. Simply text that word FRESH to 46642 and we'll take great care of you. You'll also see right over here to the side is that pantry, big pantry space right in there, folks. Taking a look at the super slide to have the dinette. I like these tables too. Um, if you haven't seen this before, the reason I like these is because they can double as a coffee table. And what I mean by that, watch out a second here, Kevin. I'm going to move this way actually over here. So what you can do is you can take this bad boy right over here to the side. And the way this table works, and this does drop down into a bed, you can leave it right there in the dinette and it drops down into a bed. But you have this little, uh, this guy, this little yellow thing. So if you can find that tab, you'll want to, of course, now it's not going to work for me. But <laughs> normally, you're able to just pull that back. And there it goes. And then you put your feet right here on the feet of the table. And then one of these two ways, just like that, it rotates out and around and down, right? So this makes it super simple. It kind of, like I said, creates a coffee table. You can put your coffee there. If you want to put a pillow on it, put your feet up on it. Give you something to put your feet up on. And it just gives you a lot of versatility. Now, as I mentioned, if you want to keep it in the dinette, you can drop it, drop it down and it will create the bed space there. Uh, but I like just being able to move it kind of in and out. The other thing I love about this seating, since we're sitting here, as I mentioned, is you get the big armrest with the cup holder right here. Um, now, because of this space, you know, it didn't allow them to have a center console. But if you get a throw pillow or two, you can put a throw pillow there, you know, and two people can easily put their arms on a throw pillow. And again, it kind of creates that theater seating feel. Entertainment center, front and center right there. One of the things I love about it is you get a nice big TV, folks, 50 inch TV in here. Um, you know, I, I know we don't go camping to watch TV, but on a rainy day, this is a great thing to have, especially because, you know, a rear kitchen like this with this mid living is an excellent RV for entertaining. If you have a lot of friends at the campground or you want to bring some friends with you, 
maybe introduce them into camping. This is a good floor plan for it because everyone can sit around here, hang out. You can you know, watch TV, whatever. You have the fireplace right there. Uh, now, one of the things I do want to mention is this one runs on 30 amp, right? So what you'll see is right in here, you have a switch. So you can switch between the AC or the fireplace. I mean, you know, I don't know why you'd have both of them on at the same time because it'd be weird, right? Heating it up and cooling it down. So it makes sense to switch between the two, but that way you can just still run off of 30 amp. Making our way up front, control panel right there, thermostat right underneath. The bathroom, I do want to show a couple nice features in here. One of the first ones is a porcelain bowl. And if you've ever seen my videos, you ever, you know, or you've been following along on the tour, you know that I like porcelain bowls because they stay cleaner, right? They're a lot easier to clean. Over time, the plastic ones tend to get a little bit dirtier and they have to be replaced more often. Porcelain bowl will just last you longer. As for shower space, I like to be able to stand up in a shower and I have no problem doing it here. I could be, you know, probably easily 6'1", maybe 6'2", still be able to stand up in here without having to duck down. Now, if we take a look right in the bedroom, a couple quick things I want to hit on in here. So one, you have wardrobe on both sides. You will also, I'll show you this real quick. You have a little laundry chute, right? So if you want to put a clothes basket right down there, you have a spot that you can uh, throw all your dirty laundry. And when we come in here, you'll see a couple different things. One, a spot to put a TV right here on the wall. The connections up top, another big wardrobe right here, right? So not only do you have the both on the side of the bed, but you get this extra wardrobe to hang even more clothes for those extended stays. And this one also utilizes the Blade AC duct system, which is a great system. Uh, it's much quieter than your standard system. The way they run the duct work, it's actually like 30 to 35% quieter, similar to a quiet, cool AC. And it does a better job. It actually has more force. Uh, so it actually cools the RV down quicker. So excellent system overall. Now, the, you know, the features don't stop inside. We'll come on out. We'll take a look at what the hideout has to offer out here. So I always like to start up front, right? And as we take a walk up front here, one of the things you'll notice is a power tongue jack. Now, you can add these aftermarket. They run about 300, 350 bucks, something like that. But the, I love when it comes straight from the manufacturer because this is a big one for me. Um, it, when you talk about hooking up or disconnecting from your RV, this right here will make all the difference. It is so much easier. All you have to do is literally flip a rocker switch and it will raise and lower your tongue. You don't have to sit there and wear out your, you know, wear out your arm, you know, just trying to work at it. It, you know, just sitting there working, 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 right? Nobody wants to do that. We want the easy button. That's literally what you have right here, folks. That is the easy button. Right behind that, you have two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover rails there for your battery. Diamond plating coming up the front, helping protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And you will also see the front of this, right? Rather than having your rolled aluminum, you have a smooth aluminum front. Not only does that look nicer, but also, you know, the, ma the majority of the dirt and grime from traveling is going to be right up there, right? That's where all those smashed bugs are going to be. That's a lot easier to clean than your rolled aluminum. Coming around to this side, another great feature, you'll see this one is prepped for side camera. So if you want to, you know, better coverage of your blind spots as you're traveling down the road, it's a very simple to have installed. Again, the mount is already there. Everything's already pre-wired. It just makes it a plug and play, which means it's a lot less expensive for you to have that installed. You'll also see right inside there, it's a pretty big pass-through. I mean, even the height in here, you can fit some bigger items in there, which, hi, Jace, how are you? <laughs> you might even be able to fit Jace in there, right? That's a pretty big pass-through storage there. So if you have some bigger items, you can stick them in there. Right down here is a uh, power stabilizer jack. So again, folks, we're talking about easy use. Flip a button, drop those stabilizer jacks down. Things aren't rocking around on you. Power awning with LED light strip, upgraded solid steps. You also see this guy, right? Nice uh, little leash latch there. So if you have any, and we talked about dogs, you can tie them up right there, nice and simple. Outside TV if you want it. And in the very back here is the outside kitchen, folks. Now I do have the big kitchen inside, but you have a fridge, cooktop, everything you need right out here, which is what helps make this one a radiant rear kitchen. Hi, we are Crazy, Crazy Family, Family Adventure. I'm Kitty. I'm Brianna. I'm Knox. I'm Malia. I'm Craig. I'm Carson. And we are bringing you RV Pro Tips. We'll be covering a full-time RVing with kids and also how to plan the ultimate RV family road trip. Come join us. We have been full.
full-time RVing with our kids for the last six plus years. So why we decided to go on the road full-time with our kids and live and travel in an RV full-time was because we really wanted more family time, freedom, and we wanted to travel and see the world. Let me tell you, it's not all rainbow and sunshine. Parenting is still hard. We still have our regular day-to-day -day things to do, but all of the adventure and the fun that we have is just unbelievable. So living in an RV has its challenges, that's for sure, but overall, it is just an awesome, fun adventure. The thing that I love the most about RV lifestyle is that we can have a really slow-paced life. Brianna and I wake up every morning, we have our cup of coffee, we sit outside and look at a mountain or over a lake, all while not having to rush off to work or get the kids to school. The other thing I really like is to show the kids new adventures all the time, whether that's scaling a mountain, seeing wildlife, or sailing on the ocean. Whatever it is, we're making memories that's going to last our lifetime. My favorite part about our van is that we get to play our games. Oh no, I, I got you back. Go, go, go! Come on, you're almost there. You gotta get them. Don't go to the storm. Come on, guys, let's go for a walk. So one of our secrets about traveling full-time with kids is that you want to meet other families on the road. It makes it so much more fun when your kids have friends and you have friends. It's just such a great time when you can hang out with other families on the road. All right, so of course electronics are a must-have for kids, but they also love playing outside, which is why having this outdoor storage that we have filled with all of these fun things for the kids to do. We've got the balls in here, basketballs, we got their footballs, we got their bikes on the back, we've also got skateboards in here. So when you have kids, you want to make sure that you have tons of outdoor things you can do with them along with the indoor items as well. So one of our fun must-haves is a projector and a big screen TV. When you are traveling full-time with four kids and together 24-7, it's nice to have a place that we can come, shut the door, turn on our show or movie, and watch that while the kids are out there watching their shows or playing their video games. Plus, it works out really good if the kids do want to come in here with us and watch a movie. And we can take this down and the screen down and we can move all of that outside and have outdoor movie nights. So lots of fun things that we can do with it. So definitely a must have if you're traveling full time with four kids. <laughs> you can think about red, you can think about pink, you can think about a horse, all the things you can think. So when it comes to school, we do something a little different. We unschool our kids. So you can't really explain what unschooling is in one conversation, but if it is something you're interested in, we definitely recommend you check out our blog, Crazy Family Adventure, and search unschooling. We have a whole list of unschooling resources that we recommend. But the short answer is that we don't use a curriculum, we don't start school, we don't end school, we're just always doing school. So one of the great ways that the kids learn is when we go to places like national parks and they do the junior ranger program. Also just going out and exploring and just having conversations with our kids. When we're driving through Yellowstone, we may turn on something like Gypsy Guide, which is an app you can download that just tells you things about the park. Plus, our kids go on their electronics where they learn through watching different YouTube videos. They've also learned a ton just from playing their video games. And our kids have also taught themselves how to read. Seriously, no trained reading taught at all. So it's really kind of a way that you just learn through life. And it's not a hands-off type of approach by any means. Craig and I are very involved in the kids. So that's how we school our kids, again called unschooling. I will say we've been doing it ever since the kids were born and it is definitely something that we recommend. All right, when we came into this RV, we knew we wanted to do a few renovations to make it feel more like home. So one of the first things we started with was this slide out area that we knew we wanted to take out the couch that was here and replace it with a couch that was more functional for our family. Came with a really nice two person reclining couch, but for a family of six, it wasn't quite functional for us. We also added a side table in where we could put some books and things out for the kids to access. 
and we redid the dining room table area as well just to make that spot a little bit smaller and to add a lot more storage instead of just chairs. We did a bench with baskets underneath it. We also did ottoman seats that you can take the top off and store things in. And we also just added some shelves in to make things more functional for our family so our kids have somewhere to put their water bottles and we can put extra food in. Just some really quick, easy things that we could do to really make the RV feel more like home. All right, we hope that gave you some great tips about traveling full-time in an RV with kids. So our RV Pro Tip session was brought to you by Camping World. Make sure to check out the other RV Pro Tip sessions brought to you by a variety of different RV influencers to really help you increase your RV knowledge. All right, guys, now it's time for dinner. So you got to go. And here we go. So we may be standing here, and if you take a look, think, Ian, I, I feel like we already were in this one, and yeah, we were in one pretty similar, right? We had the Passport, uh, which is a very similar floor plan to what we're in right now. Now, this is the Keystone Outback Ultralight 221 UMD. And as we go through, I just kind of want to point out some of the differences. Uh, as far as price point, they're, again, both going to be very similar. This one's starting right at uh, right under $30,000, just seven bucks and 18 cents a day. Uh, for weight, this one's a little under 5,000 pounds dry. And this one's coming in at 27 foot. So they're pretty close, right? Uh, the Passport, I believe, is a tiny bit heavier, maybe a little bit longer there as well, which makes sense. Uh, as far as tank size, it, it is important to note for me, at least, this one does have a 60 gallon fresh tank so again if you're looking to kind of get out there uh, this one does have a little bit bigger fresh tank your gray and black will be at 30 gallons so those are your standard sizes for this size rv but you do get that bigger fresh tank on there so what are some of the differences well one of the things we'll see right away that it's very similar is the fact you get a campsite dinette here uh, some of the differences however though is that you'll see you have under lighting right so you know kind of uh, spices it up a little you know it's a little bit nicer looking in my opinion i like what they have done you also have a wood style tabletop on here um, so, you know, if you're in, into kind of like that natural wood look, this one right here kind of gives that. Gives you a beautiful view out to the campsite right there. We can see that, and we, we enjoyed that in the Passport floor plan as well. So, you know, that, and again, as I talk about, that's one of the things I absolutely love about this layout. Even though, you know, it's meant to be a rear kitchen, you kind of get this, you know, mid-living feel, and you just get that huge open space. Now, this one has a dream-style dinette, which is pretty easy to make up into a bed. You have this lever right here. You simply fold that lever over and it will let you push the table down obviously you want to be out of the way and kind of lift the cushions up so that the table can sit right down here on these rails and then put the cushion these back cushions on top and that will create uh, an extra sleeping space and just like our passport you know this one can sleep uh, three people and if, you know if you're sleeping here I mean and you're an adult you might have to curl up a little bit but it does have that uh, ability to sleep an additional person you also see an electrical outlet as well as USB ports there so plenty of options for plugging in and charging cell phones tablets laps laptops whatever else you need to charge right there you still have a big barreled ceiling uh, which is great you know it gives you a lot of head height in here ducted AC you have the blade system uh, kind of like we saw in that uh, in the passport there as well so um, you know, it's, it's got an excellent AC system. It's not nearly as loud. In fact, uh, all three of them we've had in this session uh, have used that, which, is, again, it's just an absolutely awesome system. Making our way back a little bit further, your control panel will be here. You can also see your thermostat right up top. And now let's talk about the bathroom. So what you'll notice, instead of a slider-style door, they went to a swing style door and maybe you like that maybe you don't you know maybe that's one of the things that help differentiate between the two and in which one you want um, now you will see that you know it, it is a very decorative door which i certainly enjoy and also what you'll notice is so with with the passport it had a very narrow opening to the bathroom if you remember me talking about that because you didn't have much of a choice right you have a slider door and to make the the opening of the uh, door jam bigger you have to make the door bigger to cover it you just didn't have the wall space for that door to sit so here with the swing style door you can have you know just a small little wall but create a bigger opening and as you can see i can actually fit through here now it's still a little bit tight 
but it added a couple inches. And this is one of those places where, the, you know, those couple inches make a big difference. Uh, as we take a look right down here, you will see the porcelain foot flush lever toilet. I always love having a porcelain bowl. Again, it's when we start taking a look at some of the differences. You have porcelain here instead of plastic. Um, and the reason I like porcelain is it just stays cleaner a lot longer and it's just easier to clean, right? You'll get more life out of this bowl and it just doesn't look as gross as a plastic wheel over time. Uh, over to the side here on the wall, uh, you have nice big countertop. And again, I have plenty of, of room for both my shoulders and my legs. I'm rubbing a little bit on the right, but plenty of space here on the left. Underneath the sink, you know, some decent storage there for all of your toilet paper. You'll see this is closed off versus open like we had in the passport, but you know, I still have pretty good storage space. And again, nice big countertop here too. Mirrored medicine cabinet right up top. And if I take a step in the shower, at six foot tall, you can see here, I can, I can stand in here pretty easy. Again, I could probably be about 6'1", and I can, you know, without the skylight, again, I would be hitting the ceiling. But with it, especially right here in the center, yeah, but maybe 6'1". I, I think at 6'2", you'd probably have to duck down a little bit. Um, so we have a pretty similar size shower there. And then in the very back, you know, I, I love the uh, the countertop space. You get huge countertop space right here. And, and I really like this because it's like a big uh, dedicated prep space, right? You can see that. I mean, just uh, a massive space right here. You do get the electrical outlet. So, you know, if you want to put a coffee maker there, you could. Uh, but I, again, would probably use this as my primary prep because you do get such uh, excellent countertop real estate there. I like this too. They kind of put in the, the backsplash, right, to match the countertop. I think that was... Uh, pretty cool. Again, something we see a lot of times in homes, uh, but not very often in RVs. Windows all the way around to help keep things nice and bright. That high-rise modern faucet. You'll see you have uh, the sink top cover, right? Instead of a cutting board in this one is a drying rack. You know, so again, some subtle differences right there. Storage up top, but pretty good storage. You know, um, you can see that you have the shelf built in. So this is great for, you know, plates, bowls, cups. You can basically fit the majority of all of your dishes right up there, which I love. And then over to this side here is the microwave. It's a little bit different microwave positioning in here. Now, you know, they, they, I don't know if it's a really big advantage, right? So one of the things they talk about here is you don't have a turntable. It uses the um, uh, diamond wave technology to be able to heat things up. And, you know, I, they say you get more space. I don't know that it would necessarily sell me on it, right? Still a very similar size box. You just have a, a larger bottom surface but I'm still gonna put a plate in there regardless and a plate would fit on a turntable. But either way, uh, you have the microwave right up top there. Storage here, you can see the hood. Again, more countertop space over to the side. Electrical outlet, if you wanna put like a coffee maker right back here in the corner, you can. This cooktop is recessed with the glass cover. Of course, that just folds up and back as you would expect. Oven underneath. Pantry right here, right? Pull out pantry. Again, we start talking about some of the differences. This is one of them. I think that's really cool having the pull out pantry. Perfect for a lot of your canned goods or uh, pop tarts. I like to take pop tarts when I camp. I know that they have like zero nutritional value, like zero. And it's even worse because I'll toast them and then put butter on them. But I'm telling you, for whatever reason, when I'm camping, pop tarts are my go to. Uh, you'll also see right underneath there, you have a little bit of uh, additional storage. And then you get over to the fridge. This one has a 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. So a little bit different style fridge. Uh, this one will run off the uh, off your batteries. And again, if you plan on doing some boondocking on this and this one, you're definitely gonna want some solar to help make sure that you're not running your batteries down uh, right here. Now, big pantry space here as well. You have the pull out, but I love the size of this pantry. So if you have like cold cereal, things like that, some larger items, you have a spot to put them and Oh, yes, they did it. They gave me a spot for a trash can. It's not underneath the sink, which is, you know, one of my favorite places for it to be just because that's where I'm going to be prepping my food. It is a little bit further away, uh, but I still love the fact it's a dedicated place. I don't have to have my bag hanging out, especially, you know, in a smaller uh, RV like this, you know, that, that smell is going to fill up this space quickly. So I like that it's able to be tucked away. Theater seating, uh, what you'll notice though is that a little bit different right here. You'll see they put a piece of vinyl over top, right? Instead of just having um, the, the hard edge. So that way less chance of, you know, stubbing your toe, tripping, things like that. But theater seating, extremely comfortable. You will see this is a little bit different too. Instead of having just a single piece, you get the full console right here in the center. Cup holders and a place to put your remote right there. Uh, but this is, again, a little bit bigger theater seats, right? You know, a little bit, uh, if you want something with a little bit more space for your theater seats, this has it. And how did they accomplish that? 
Well, they kind of knocked out a lot of the bedroom wall space. You will see how open the bedroom is. They shifted the place the TV is. The TV is basically in the bedroom, and that functions as both the TV bedroom and the living room TV. So, you know, bear that in mind that if you go to bed and someone else is right here, you're not going to both be able to watch TV at the same time. Probably not an issue in this size RV. Uh, again, chances are it'll just be two of you the majority of the time, but if you do have guests, um, you know, it just might be something to think about. Storage all the way across the front. You also have the additional shelf right there, which is great. You'll see nightstands with electrical outlets, USB ports. Right over here is your uh, dirty laundry hamper, right? Little laundry chute so you can put a laundry basket in there, toss it right down. Uh, your queen bed. Now, one of the other things I like about Outback is, well, A, it's strut supported, but take a look at this. You have a built-in kennel if you want it. So it can be storage, great, but if you have a dog, this is awesome, right? You know, I mean, how many times does your dog want to sleep at your feet, right? And, you know, but you, you have to create them a lot of times in an RV because, you know, if, if you create your dog normally, it helps them feel safe. It becomes their home. Well, right here you have that. You can put their bed and everything else right there underneath, open the door up. They have it. They have a spot that they're very comfortable with. And that way, again, if you leave, you know, you don't have to have this giant dog crate in the middle of your RV. You have one that's built in right there. Uh, I actually think that's really smart for, uh, you know, people that love to take their dogs camping which a lot of people certainly do. And when we take a look at the door here, uh, you'll notice a couple different things. One of them is the fact that right here, you can see this one has your uh, the hinge on here, right? So that it, when, it, when you close it, you don't have to worry about clips or anything breaking off. Another thing that I like to point out, and this is something that's really minor, but something that I like, is it has what they call the slingshot on it. So you have the screen. And so, you know, if, if your kids come and just hit this, it will shut itself. Right? How many times, you know, growing up, I can't tell you how many times my parents asked me, did you grow up in a barn, shut the door? Well, now I don't have to worry about it, right? Now I have a slingshot and it shuts it for me. Right up front here is your power tongue jack that has, uh, you know, light on there as well in case you're um, hooking up or disconnecting at night. Nice and easy to use, just flip of a switch to raise and lower the tongue there. Your propane here, tanks here with the cover right behind that, rails for your battery. Diamond etch plating coming up the front, helping protect that front end from rocks and debris to get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You can see I flipped the switch on for our front lights here as well, which really give it a sharp look in that front three-quarter cap. And that big black center is made to look kind of like a, a windshield that we've seen on some RVs. Great thing about it, though, is you don't have to worry about any chance of leaking, right? You know, it's just all one solid piece, which is great. Coming around here to the side, a couple things I want to talk about. You'll see battery disconnect right here so you can quickly and easily kill all power to the coach. You still have solar prep, right? We talked about that with that fridge. Probably an important thing to have. You have it built in. Power stabilizer jacks. So that way you can just touch a button. It stabilizes everything out. You'll see you have the power awning with LED lights built in. So you can just extend that. Super simple. If you want outside TV, you have a spot to hook it up here. Black tank flush to quickly and easily wash out your black tank. Outside shower on the campsite could be a big deal. You also see this one has a bumper, which the Passport did not have. Now, folks, these are just a few of the things that I wanted to mention. These are some of the differences between the Outback and the Passport, but that is what we're here for. We can help you identify all of this. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642. Awesome, guys. Woo! We are excited for this next segment here. This is the Super customer excited. choice reunit that we're going to be talking about. And this thing, okay, this brings me back because Beautiful. when Nelly and I first started, I'm here with Sean and Renee, by the way. This is the Flippin' Tilbies. <laughs> They flip RVs and trailers and they make beautiful Love homes. the lifestyle. Love yeah. it. Love it. And they're, they have five beautiful kids as well. <laughs> Nelly and I, we, um, she's not here on stage with us right now, but when we first got an RV, we got a Class A. And that's what this customer choice is. And we loved it. And you guys did all 50 states. We all did. All 50 states in that Class A. It yeah, was amazing. Yeah, we didn't amazing. do Hawaii. People ask yeah. us. We thought about taking it on a ferry. Oh, that's we didn't true. Have okay, okay. Crazy 49 trip. states. Yeah. 49 states with their baby. Yeah, we absolutely loved it. And sometimes even we miss aspects of it. And so Nellie and Ian are actually going to give us a tour of this. And I'm sure she's going to like have all these things that she loved and misses about it. Especially the, the fact that you can be driving. Right. And then just... We've used class C's, sleep. never class A's before. And it really is nice that you can get the kids a snack and you can go to the bathroom and you can run around. And they just really have that flexibility and have kind of your house really right behind you. Not, yeah. not behind you as a trailer, but really right behind you. And well, this one has the huge slide out all down the one side. So it really opens everything up completely. 
makes it a lot more livable. You've it got your king size seven. bed. It sleeps seven, it which, sleeps is, which is un- for, That's not common for, for a class A. Yeah, that was one of the biggest things that stood out to me was, wow, we could we could do that, you know, with our seven family of seven. Another thing I thought was really cool is it has two TVs. So you have the exterior TV because when you do the RV lifestyle, you really get to know a lot of people. And then you can have this huge party and you can bring all of your camping chairs and have a fire and watch shows outside. So I think that's a really great thing to kind of bring that community feeling together. Yeah, I'd agree with that. So excited for you guys to see this. You'll see why it was a customer choice for this week. Nelly and Ian, we're going to hand it off to you guys and uh, let's do it. Week eight of the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, folks. I am Ian Baker and I am joined by Nelly. And Nelly, I'm super excited. This week's customer pick is a Class A. Some, something you're very familiar I with, right? I love Class A's. and I heard it was a Class A, I was pumped. I'm like, let's go look at it right now. I'm ready. <laughs> I love Class A's. Yeah, there, there's a ton to love, uh, especially on this one. We have the, the Thor Hurricane 33X. It's an awesome floor plan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you know, I mean, tell me, Nelly, when it comes to Class A's, like, what are some of your favorite things? What, what do you just love all about right. them? First of all, they're more open. It just feels more spacious when you're in a class A. I think it's just sure. more open space. And two, yep. I'm going to say I do miss being able to drive. If you got to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. If you yep. go grab a snack, go for it. If you need to take a nap on the bed, you can. And you yes. don't have to stop. And I love yes. that. My husband probably doesn't feel that way because he drove the class A. <laughs> but I loved it. Yeah, no, I I agree. And that's what I tell people too, you know, especially with a big bus like this, you know, even with the slide in, you still have access to all those things, the refrigerator, the bathroom, and the travel is just, it's more enjoyable. You know, you're comfortable, you're in a good space. You don't have to get out of your vehicle. Like I said, everything is just perfectly self-contained. Especially with kids. We got to bring all the toys in the truck and then put them back when they're ready to play in the trailer. It's kind of a lot. So class A's are great for kids and families. Perfect. Perfect. Well, should we take a look at the outside? Let's kind do of walk it. down. Yes, yeah. let's so, go. So with this one, this is you know built on the Ford F53 chassis. Yeah. Um, pretty common for a gas class A. You have the 7.3 liter Triton engine in there, which again mm-hmm. on that Ford chassis, super common. Um, some of the things that I do like, so with this one, with the mirror, you have the side camera built into the mirror, which is really nice. That's amazing. Yeah. So as soon as you put on the blinker, you know, it helps cover that that blind Absolutely. spot a little, um, which is always great. And it's a heated mirror too. So for <laughs> somewhere like we are today, when it's when it's a little chilly, uh, you don't have to you know you can actually make sure you're going to be able to see. It'll defrost I love that. for you. Yeah. Our front camera actually went off while we were driving here because oh, it was no. just too cold and snowy and windy. So. Brilliant. Whoever made that, I hope you're rich and all the blessings. Yeah. Outside TV. You know, that's that's a, a kind of a nice thing to have, especially, you know, if you want to sit out here, just have the chairs. It's it's kind of the best of both worlds, yep. right? Like if there's a show you can't miss or something you want to watch, you're still kind of outside in yep. nature underneath the awning. Everyone just kind of sitting around hanging out. Totally. Especially if dad's at the grill or something and he's yes. got his football on or there whatever he wants to watch. There you go. I know that's important for you men, so <laughs> I'm sure you love it. <laughs> I do. You have the uh, sound bar there too. And, and one of the other things, Nelly, we talked about yes. is storage. We you talk c- about Class A's, just a ton of storage. You can't have enough storage. I can't say that enough. You, yeah. get, you don't think you might need enough, but you'll always need storage. So yes. this is beautiful. They did a great job with, you can put, put I don't know, I guess long stuff in there or tall stuff. There's a totally enough space here. Yeah, because the, so the, the way the I-beam is structured, like oh, up yes. top, if there, there actually is a little bit of pass-through storage up top there. So if you have some longer items, like, you know, that'd be a little bit skinnier, but like skis or paddle maybe, board. you know, fishing poles, right, paddle board, yeah. right? You can still, you're still able to fit that stuff up there, which is great. Really cool. Um, and another thing too, right, is is the, the container itself here, the actual storage space. A lot of people, when they see it, they're like, oh, you know, it's plastic, I want metal. But what they don't realize is with the plastic, you don't have to worry about anything rusting out, right? Like if you put a yeah. bunch of wood in here, when you're done, you can just wash it out. There's a drain right in the bottom. You can open oh, that drain yeah. up and you can just rinse that all right out and it's nice and clean again. Very cool. And I see that there's a light that comes on when you open it. Yes. Yep. And yeah. So there's a light in nice. It's one of the things that Thor does really well is any compartment will have a light in it. It'll always be lit. So if you're getting in there at night, you'll be good to go. That's super awesome. No, I love that because I don't know how many times at night we get to our campsite really late, but we got to grab something and it's, <laughs> create your flashlight, get it run back in. Yeah. <laughs> right. Love it. Um, Very cool. Frameless windows on here too, we know, which look. look really nice. And you can get optional dual pane if you want dual pane frameless, they are available. Okay. Um, but you know, I, I really like the look of the frameless windows and the fact Same. you can have them open when it's raining, you know, so that way you can still get some airflow through in there. Absolutely. Yeah, it, I really like that look. And the awning's cool too, right? Um, uh, yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, you kind of have like the, the linear awning. You don't have the arms coming down. It has the LED lights, you know, built right into the arm, so it lights so up the awesome. campsite. And I'm guessing you just press a button and it comes out, right? Yes, that's you got it. Our class day was not that way. This is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Very beautiful. I love it. Nice Makes and it, easy. Yes. They make RV living easy and that's when they do it, stuff like that. Exactly. That's what it's all about, right? Yeah. And one of the other things I like too, talking about making it easy, is on. So on the rear tire, you do have a valve extender. So you're right. able to fill the inside of the dually right here. Otherwise it's a pain to have to try to reach back in there and fill. But you can see, I mean, you know, you have the valves right there. It's nice and simple. Um, yeah, I love the fact they actually put the extension on there. Yeah, they did think of everything. So mm -hmm. far, so good. Did they right. think of everything on the inside though? I'm like- Should, should we go, do you wanna go check it out? I, we yeah, should. let's do it. I'm ready to see this. All right. Wow. I'm loving the light colors in here. It's right? very spacious, very open. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that was a nice touch that they yeah, did. Yeah, absolutely. So that's, the, the RV industry as a whole, right? It's always been such kind of dark colors. And, yeah. and people kept screaming like, we want lighter, we want lighter. <laughs> and I swear finally in 2021, they finally listened, they brought out lighter colors and here we are. You know what? I think the reason for that is because before RV living wasn't, you know, a full time thing. like. Sure. Back then, it was more of a weekend warrior, and so darker colors kept things cleaner. But now people that are living this full time, and they want this to be their home. Yeah, right. Yeah. The so lighter colors, more of a modern look. Yep. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah right. <laughs> great. Yes, and, and it's it's big. It's open, right? This this 33x floor plan. I mean, this entire wall right here is all one giant slide. No, so, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Stop so it. you can see. I mean, you just get a ton of space in here. Um, I mean, it, it's awesome from the front all the way to the back. It gives you that open floor plan feel. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's why I love about class days is that they're so open. Yes. And another cool thing back here is that usually the dresser is all the way up to the bed. So you kind of have right. to do this thing. Yeah, the but, little I mean, shimmy. you can just dance here, you know. <laughs> Got plenty of room to break well, it down. It's great. Well, I love you know, it. You know, one of the things we talked about a few weeks back was the fact that, you know, you try to find a place to work out. And sometimes in a class A, it can be hard, but with something like this, <laughs> You have all the space in the world. You, you kids can play there. The dogs can have a bed down there. Exactly. I mean, exactly. That's amazing. Yeah. Ooh, loving it. Loving mm -hmm. it. Loving it. Yeah, and you know, beautiful features. I mean, you know, great woodwork in here for the cabinets. Solid surface countertops. Yep, and they have the modern handles, which yes. we love. This is actually when we renovated our class A. These are the kind of handles is we got. So they're stepping up their <laughs> game. It's good. <laughs> I, and I'm a big fan, right? So when you start to go through RVs, like sometimes they'll have knobs and sometimes they'll have pulls. Yeah. I, I personally am a pull guy, right? Like yes, I, I, I want my sense. whole hand to be in there. Sometimes with the knob, like it just hurts my fingers. I don't know. Yeah. Some, something about it. I just like the looks of the pulls. I like the, just the feel of them. It just makes things easier. Yeah. You know, I don't have to look for the knob. I can just find the pull and, <laughs> exactly. you know, have a conversation. Good, and you're good to go. Lots of counter space here that, that mm -hmm. I see, which for me as a mother who mostly I cook. Sure. It might be the other way around, but um, <laughs> I need the space. I need it and I love it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you kind of have, so they, they do a couple of great things here, right? Yeah. Uh, one is the fact that they give you sink top covers. So, um, you know, what so I ideal. oftentimes will do is just take one off. And so you still have, you know, like basically a bowl yes. over here, but you get all this for prep space. You get this, you know, dedicated prep space. And if you need it, if you're not using the cooktop, that's recessed, you can use that too. So you get, yeah. you know, quite a bit of usable countertop space in a floor plan like this. No, you're absolutely right. And I love that. I love that she actually pointed it out. I should, that's like so smart. Cause usually they'll do one big one. Right. And a lot of them, and which is sometimes very needed. Sometimes sure. you need all that space, absolutely. but you can have either option yep. with this. Yep. Very cool. You're right. They are starting to think of everything. I, I know. Right? <laughs> They're getting there. They're doing good. An actual tile backsplash too, right? Love so, that. Not just like a wall board. It's an actual real tile backsplash. Or wallpaper. Yes. You see back then. Oh, you know, uh -huh. that's beautiful. They actually did a very good job here. Yeah. We got the three stoves. Yep. Yep. Which I'm always about the three stoves. I love. Okay, we have this too. The glass lid that flips open. Uh huh. And over, and I love it. So yes. simple. It stays there. It doesn't yes. move. And then when you're done, it just nice, right easy. Right back. Boom. Yep. I so agree important. with you. Mm -hmm. And it looks really nice and clean and classy. And if it gets dirty, it's so easy to clean. Well, and that's that, that's part of it, right? That's one of the great things is, you know, we talk about, I talk about this fact there is a beautiful tile backsplash, mm -hmm. but this is so easy to clean and it, it catches most of whatever is going to splash up and the glass you just wipe down, good to go, move on. Yeah, exactly. And everybody loves an easy cleaning job. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. 
This is another one for me too, is the fact that there's enough space down oh, here for a yeah. trash can. Um, oh, th yeah. That's always a big one to me. I always want to have a place for a trash can because I, I hate I hate having it just hang out. It's just not for me. Same. No, I'm totally the same. And you can put your cleaning supplies in here, no problem. Yes. Yep, exactly. And that's really important to have. So very cool. I love that they put a lot of space there. Wonderful. Ooh. Let's work our way back a little bit, and then okay. we'll work our way back up to the front. So. Talk, talk to me about the bathroom. How do you feel about the bathroom, right. about the space we have, some of the amenities? What do you think? Let me take a little gander here. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I already have seen things I like. One. Okay. Medicine cabinet. Yep. I love that there's stuff to put, like a place to put your stuff mm -hmm. without it being in the way or falling out or on shelves that don't make sense. Very realistic. and love that for RV living. Yes. Another thing I love is, <laughs> maybe it's because our RV doesn't have this, <laughs> but they have a towel holder and the paper, the toilet paper yes. holder. Yes. Which yes. most trailers should have. Some do not though. And so yes. it's nice that we don't have to go buy some and then try to add it somewhere to make it work. Uh-huh. Lots of space. And there's just so much storage. Yeah, yeah. Which, which so you know, much. which which you need. So you're gonna have, you know, hand towels, you're gonna have um, you know, extra uh, what my, my wife calls HBA products, right? Like health and beauty products, like things you're gonna need, yes. you know, to be able to put in there. And Us ladies gotta take care of yourself, <laughs> you know? The, the skincare routine at night, the whole thing. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And that's a really, that's a big and very tall shower. I yes. mean, my husband's 6'5", and he'd fit in that no problem. <laughs> Bryce is a tall guy. He is very tall, <laughs> and that's important, especially with that sunroof right there. Yes. No problem at all. And something else I like on the outside too. So this is something that came up with uh, a few years back um, and it, it's a multiplex wiring system. I believe this one is the Firefly is what they call it. But okay. this is really cool because everything is centralized, right? Like I can control all the lights from right here. I can turn on my generator um, and on my tank monitoring panel, everything is built into this super convenient panel. Slide-ins and awnings? Yes. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. everything right from there. And what we'll see is, is we so kind of cool. go out and I'll point them out as, as we move around, as, like when we go up front and stuff, is they have small little controllers as well that are okay. kind of um, dedicated to that specific area. So it might have lights, for example, like just in the dinette or, you yes. know, like it will control things kind of in that little area. And, and we'll take a look at those in a little bit, but it's okay. really cool how it's all interconnected. Now, does that, is that connected to, I know some have apps and you can do it from yes. your phone. Is this one of those? Exactly. Yep. Very yep. Neat. So absolutely. Yeah. So you can connect it to an app, connect via Bluetooth and you can control all this stuff uh, right from there. And, you know, again, like That's I said, nice. you can see right there, tank monitoring panel, um, you know, everything for your generator. It has a uh, auto gen start on this coach as well. And oh, you can cool. set that for a few different things. So it can be time, it can be voltage, right? Like if your yes. batteries dip down too low, yep. the generator will automatically kick back on no and recharge way. your batteries. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, so it, it's got some cool <laughs> features. So, you know, if, awesome. if you're gone, you know, you're not gonna come back to a, a dead motorhome. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Best thing you've told me so far. Okay, very neat. <laughs> Maybe it's because we've had that happen to us, and we're like, dang. Right? <laughs> and the nice, so it just kicked on. Yes. Very cool. Yes. And so, as you said, huge bedroom back here. Very lots big. of bedroom space. Lots of dancing room. Lot, lots lot, of workout. Lots of dance space. Very cool, yeah. It's What size is this bed? You know, uh, I... It seems huge. It does. I would have to check. It looks... It might be a king. I'm going to say it's at, it's at least for sure a queen, it, yeah, but it, it well, looks yes. like it could be a king. I, I, I would have to agree with you, Nelly. You know what? Let me see if it says. Hold on. It is, let's see, 72 by 76. So yeah, so it's it's a, what they call like an RV king, right? Okay. So it's a, you're gonna Very have the nice. 72 wide, 76 long. So it's gonna be four inches shorter than what you'd have uh, for like a residential king. But yeah, definitely nice big bed. Um, you got the, wow. you know, you got the width on there. Especially, okay, especially when you put kings in RVs, usually there's even less room to move. Exactly. And there's so much room with a huge bed. Yep. That's like my dream. That is what, <laughs> this is important. That is okay. my dream, she <laughs> says. I love that they have the outlets here for your phone, so yeah. you don't have to do like the, you know, the little blocks and stick yep. them in. Nice and easy, have things charging, lots of space. Yep, and I like that the, the nightstands are kind of out of the way, right? Like sometimes yeah. they'll have them like hanging over the bed. Yes. Which to me just seems like it's something you're going to hit in the middle of the night, not anything I want to worry about. Especially but here, you take your sheets off. It, it, yes, exactly. So annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've been there before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is great. I yeah. love it. Oh, two windows. Yep. So yep. Lots of Cross light. ventilation. Mm hmm. Okay. And then you have, you have lots of storage. I mean, not just above the bed, but all, the, all along the back here, too. I mean, you have huge storage right there. You know, good good uh, mirrors. This is where I'm gonna get ready. Yep, okay. <laughs> there you go. All right. Holy moly, so, look at that space. Yeah, huge wardrobe all the way across me? there. That's another room. 
Wow. That's awesome. I love that. That's a lot of closet space. Yes. Yes, it is. That's like more than some people's houses. Okay. And then over here, so this is going to be versatile, right? So you have okay. options. So okay. you'll see there's a hanging rod across the top. Yes. You also have a shelf. So if you want to use it for storage, you absolutely can. You can have, you know, Very shoe cool. storage, you can hang clothes, or if you want washer and dryer, mm. this panel right here is removable and there'll be washer prep right behind that. And it's already prepped for the dryer Very there. Very cool. And yep. you know what? It seems like with the RV washer and dryers, they're small enough that you could have room to, you know, hang your clothes to dry right. after you wash them. Yep. Yep. Wow, yeah. very yeah, so cool. Th this one should have enough space for a stackable unit so that, you know, you okay. have a separate washer and dryer. Okay. But yeah, absolutely. If you want like a combo unit, you could probably put that in there and still have uh, the space up top. Very neat. No, I love this. I love all the mirrors. Yes. Yes. I'm not conceited. I just, you know, I like to look good in the morning. <laughs> so, okay. so you, you know, <laughs> you know, what's really funny about mirrors, and this is a, a very weird personal story, but for... <laughs> For whatever okay. reason, and, and this, this is the reason I keep opening all these, uh -huh. because if I see a mirror, I will stop and look at myself, and I will talk to you, but be looking at myself, and I don't know why I do it. It's a natural thing. I think we all is do it? that. We realize. I think it's just a Thank subconscious you. thing. Thank you, because my, my wife makes fun of me for it all the time. Really? She's like, would you quit looking in the mirror? I'm like, I'm sorry. That's funny. <laughs> I think we all like tend to just you know do a double take yeah, and yeah. just make sure everything's right. good. All right. I feel better now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I can't. I handle this. There's yes. so much closet space. Yes. That, that, that's, again, that's one of the awesome things about this floor wow. plan. When we talk about, you know, full-time living, something like this really makes it easy. I mean, you have the giant wardrobe here. You yeah. have washer, dryer, or more storage space there. You have another wardrobe right here. You have plenty and, of space. Yeah. And, and so, you know, both of you will get closet space. Or you may get this one and three quarters of that one. I don't yeah, know what your guys' arrangement probably. is. That's how my closet at home is. <laughs> you know, with all of Bryce's shoes, he might actually have win that, you know, in that category. <laughs> Good but, for him. <laughs> so this could be, you know, yeah, I, they, people can't complain with this one. There's more than plenty of space for clothes, towels, shoes, yep, yep. anything they need. And drawers all along the bottom. And I mean, you have six massive drawers there. Oh, so I didn't even clothes. notice this. Yep. Okay, we got counter space here, mm -hmm. and then a TV. Yep. And more drawers. Exactly. All right. And so, what is this? so this is something else I talked about. So we talked about that multiplex system, right? And here it is. So you can okay. kind of see how there's some different options on here. But let me show you what's kind of cool on this. Okay, Ready? Let's see it. What? So this actually comes off, but no. it still operates. So if I want to turn off the bedroom lights, oh there they go, right? The vanity lights, same thing. So what you can do is you can take this controller, you can set it by your bed, and there is a gen set on here. So if you if you wake up in the middle of the night okay. and it's really hot, you need to turn your generator on so your ACs oh, kick on, you can do that right oh there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so you can carry these around with you and they, they'll work anywhere in the coach. I usually just Super kick my cool. husband out of bed and have him you know, do all that stuff. So <laughs> I'm sure he would love this just to be like, all right, generator. Yep. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Very cool. I'm yeah. not even gonna try oh, yeah, to Oh, you're fine, you're fine. It, it clips back on here, but uh, whoops. Of course, I, I hit all the lights as I was taking it off. Let's see, there we go. There we go. All right, all right. Very yeah, cool. TV up top. That that does pull. You had it. You got it. Oh, it does pull. Yeah, yep, yep. I was so a little nervous. <laughs> oh, what? Yep. Stop. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so, More so you can put all your movies in here, your yes. secret snacks the kids can't find. That's right. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, the other thing I like about it too is if you have auxiliary equipment, right? Like if you have a oh, Blu-ray player, yep. you can put it in here. And what you'll notice is they left this back open. And so that way you can run your cables, just plug everything right in here and everything's tucked away. You don't have to see it. What? I'm, I'm a big guy on cable management, right? Like I hate having my cables. Like if I yes. hang a TV on my wall, like, you know, I want to run it through the wall. Like I don't want it running down. Yep, totally. and so, so this right here just makes everything super clean. Wow. Yeah. I'm impressed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So far I'm just blown away by <laughs> everything they're thinking about. Yeah. I mean more, you know, again, just more storage comment. galore all the way through the 33X. Um, micro or microwave, big microwave, yeah. <laughs> uh, the refrigerator here, you know, you can see kind of the, the stainless steel. Um, and the cool thing about this is, you know, if I, if I rub on it, you can see this is kind of like the anti fingerprint, like stainless steel, right? Like you, oh. your fingerprints don't show up super easily. Oh, that's and nice. And so it cleans up nice and easily there too, but good cold storage. Wow. Lots Open of Open that up there. Oh, that's a deep, that's a very deep fridge. <laughs> yeah. So if that's you take a look right deep. in there. Yeah. Yep. Big storage in there. Wow. Okay. Very cool. And I love that you can move it the shelves however you want so you can yep. fit whatever you need to wherever you want it. Yeah. Very cool. Got your drink holders. Yeah, right. 
important. And very important. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then right up, right up top, right, because we're in the kitchen, uh, yep. you have a max air fan right here. So th this does a couple cool things for you. Um, one is the fact if you're cooking, it's going to get your smells out quick, right? If you're cooking bacon, something like that. No um, mold. What's that? The no mold. That, that's right. That's right. Yes. Yep. If you want to dry it out, can fire that sucker up. Okay. Um, also, you know, if sometimes we just don't want to run the AC or you don't want to turn on the generator if you yep. don't have shore power. So what you can do is you can open up a few windows, turn this on. And I always tell people, because people don't believe me about how much air this actually moves. Yep. But if you open up just one window and turn that on and put your hand in front of the window, you will it. feel it pull the air in. Like it, it does an incredible job of moving air through this RV. That is very cool. Yeah. yeah. Looks pretty powerful. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Nice big fan on there. Um, you know, and again, so it just, it really helps with the air movement. And of course, if you do want AC, I mean, you have dual ACs in this unit, fully okay. ducted. So that'll keep everything nice and cool awesome. there. And, and with a 5,500 watt generator, you can run that uh, system no, with no problem. That's amazing. Okay, yeah. now that is good to know. And there's a screen on there so no bugs can get in. Yes, 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 important. We don't want there, that. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I mean, like we're camping, but like let's not have the bugs inside <laughs> the house. I, I understand that. I totally get that. Um, I also want to point this out. We, we kind of passed by it as, as we came in, but there are a couple things here too um, that are pretty important. And one of them you're going to see right down here is solar, right? So it already has a solar controller built in, solar panels up on the roof. Very cool. Um, so that'll help trickle charge that battery so that, you know, again, if you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, you don't have shore power, don't want to run the generator, you just kind of get that nice slow trickle charge, Very which is cool. always good. And I just noticed when you grab that huge railing. Yes, yeah, big Lots grab of handle. Support. Yes, absolutely. And the thing I like about this is it helps on the way out, right? Yeah, That's, no, absolutely. When you talk about a lot of um, RVs in general, they'll have an outside handle, yes. but nothing on the inside, yep. you know, to, to help you down. Or and sometimes it's hard to reach that handle outside. Um, so I do like the fact that it's here. It's pretty cool. You know, and this may seem so silly, but this little space right here, yeah. throw your keys right here. There you, you go. Will not have, lose a little, them. have a little bowl right there. Yeah, uh -huh. I just, that's, that's funny. Or, I mean, watching a movie right here. Yes. Put my, I mean, I know there's probably a drink holder, right? There is. Oh yes. my gosh, there's yes. two. Yes. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I'm this is. Say, you put your drink back here, but. Yeah, this is, this is the the kind of the best seat in the house in oh, my opinion, right? Yeah. And kind of kind of like we talked about Nelly. Here's one of the things I just love about being in a motorhome is that this is the seat you, you could ride in. Yep. You know, or, or the kids or whoever Are there it may seat belts be. In oh yeah, puppy? yeah. There's seatbelts. All right. Yep. This is where I'd be. <laughs> exactly. Um, and I like this setup arrangement when you have a more seating directly across because when that slide comes in, you know, you're going to be kind of. Uh, I guess the word would be intimate, right? Like you'll be close with whoever is in the in the dinette. Oh, so true. for conversation and stuff, you can have great conversation. The table will actually be close enough that if you want to reach up and like play a card game, you can still reach the table there. Yeah. Um, have you know, some just, food. Yeah, exactly. Set up some snacks and like you say, cup holders here, there, and, and that's that's one of those things that people wow. don't people don't think about. But when you're traveling, you know. I, I, for you know, I tend to stop at fast food yeah, yeah. and it just grab something quick. But you know, those cups, if you don't have a cup holder, are bound to spill. They're bound Yo, to make a, a thousand mess. percent. Yep. So having the cup holders is just one of those added bonuses. It's like when your kids ask for a cup of your drink and you're like, don't spill it. And they're like, I won't, but they yeah. always do. They always do. Uh huh. And then I see that there's cup holders over there as well. So lots Correct. of space for if you are traveling, you can have your drinks, like you said. Yep. Wow. Yep. Okay. And then, and then that dinette does drop down into a bed as well. Um, you know, so if we need to, to drop that down, have that extra sleeping spot, now uh, now you'll be good to go. So you you have all sorts of sleeping. And we'll see a, a hidden bed in oh, here in a little bit. I'm excited. That, yeah, that I, I really absolutely love. Um, and it just, I think well, just I just did found a great this job. handle right here. Let's see if I can do it. There you go. Uh, so I'm, it's a little tough. I think it might be frozen. Is, is it? Let's see what we got here. Let's see if you can do it. Oh, maybe I just oh, need to push go. out more. It's cool. I'm fine <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, just kick back, relax. Ah, These reclining good. sofas nice. that they're doing now are game changers. Yeah. Oh, they're awesome. Absolutely, Absolutely game awesome. changers. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it is a little frozen. So yeah. It's, it's, it's cold outside. <laughs> yeah. It is cold in here. This winter vortex. All yes. right. Um, but yeah, TV right above the dinette. So you know, you have a few good uh, spots to see it from both the dinette as well Especially as Especially when you're right traveling. Here. Like I said, if you have a long trip and you want to yep. buckle your kids in, great distractor. Yep, and this absolutely. this is nice. I would love this. Absolutely. So okay. tab up for, oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, I just, I'm just happy. That's all. I'm just happy <laughs> I'm just to happy. see <laughs> you, can, you can pull on that. I'll let you. Wait, what is it? <laughs> That's all. 
<laughs> right, right. I was like, what is going to happen? <laughs> Not wasting Lots any storage. So, you know, you have a little bit of extra storage right there. It's always super handy. Oh, uh, that's so nice. And it comes out because ours, and I love, you know, it's great when it, the storage, oh, now it pops out. Yep. <laughs> goes all the way in. But the thing is, you open it and then you have to like get down and go in. Yes. I do actually like this more where it just pulls out, you grab what you need and you put it away. Pro, pro, pro tip for you, if it, and I tell people this, if you have it where the, the door just swings open, yeah. try to find like a long tote that you can put in there. Oh, if you try to measure it out, that way you can pull it out and be able to access things. Because ex exactly what you said, otherwise you have to get down your hands and knees. Yeah, and it, it's a little it becomes, much. Yeah, it becomes a little cumbersome. We sold that RV, our Class A, but we sold it to people who actually turned that area into a cat like house. Really? Yeah, so I that worked for them. Perfect. You know, I Perfect. never would have thought, but you know, <laughs> you can do anything in these RVs. There you go. Here we go. <laughs> Got it. Yes, yeah, so I think mine's going to come out next. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, so right up front, the cab, um, you know, a couple, quick, quick couple things. So why don't you okay. come on up? Take a seat. Take a seat. I'm just excited about this hidden bed. Is it right here? <laughs> like, where is it? Yeah, I'll, I'll show, I'll show <laughs> okay. you. Don't you worry. Okay. <laughs> um, so a couple of quick things I like about it. One, nice big touchscreen display, right? So yeah. whether it's navigation, radio, um, you know, you have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, all that's built in. So that way you can have kind of the, the hands-free navigation on there. It's pretty handy. And, it, and again, it's a nice oh. big screen too. Very nice. Yep. I love that a lot. I like the three cup holders because, yep. man, when you have a long drive, you need your things. Yes. You need them right here. Yes. And one of the other things I always like to tell people too is this right here. So this is something they started doing a few years back. Normally in most class A's, this is all carpeted. Yeah. And it starts to get gross, right? Yes. You know, it's like it is today. It's slushy, it's wet. And it's usually it, really hot. Exactly. Uh -huh. So so they did a couple things. One is the fact that this is fiberglass means it cleans up nice and easily. Yeah. And two, they actually have like a sound deadening, like neoprene layer underneath in there. And so, because your engine is right there, yes. so, so it's not as loud when you're driving either, because usually that's where a lot of the noise is coming from. Very cool. Yeah. That would have been really nice because a lot of times, I'm going to admit this, I mean, I guess it's fine to move around in a class A when you're driving, but we would have our daughter up here because we didn't have an airbag, so sure. we you know, put her car seat in, and a lot of times she would start crying or I would need to come entertain her, and I would sit on that big hot rock. Okay. And it was so hot. <laughs> I was, <laughs> so you know, hot so I'd just be sitting here in the middle. So this is so nice to just, it's, you're not going to burn yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you like said, it keeps clean. That's so great. And why don't you, why don't you give a go ahead and give a tug on that, uh, that guy right there and take a look. Oh, stop it. Stop. Isn't that oh, cool? I we know. We needed this. I this know. is something we needed because you can just work exactly. while your person drives. Get it done or have your food or whatever you need. That's it. Read your book. Wow. Uh, this right. is a game changer. Now, now I'm going to blow your mind. Step okay. on out a second, Nelly. Let me show Stepping you. Stepping out. Okay. All right. Let me just. All right. So we're going to show this real quick. We talked about hidden hidden bed. And here we go. We talked about these fancy controls. Why don't you hit the bunk down button? Just hold it for me. See what happens. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> that is awesome. Yes. Yes. I've never seen a Class A do this. Right? Now, normally, you'll want to make sure you move the seats out and put them down. So you're going to want to stop, stop a little bit before it gets... You're good. There you're we good. go. Okay. Yeah. Because it, it will come all the way down, but you just want to kind of bend the okay. seats back a little. But you have a mattress up there. So, you know, this is super cool because you just drop it down, 500 pound weight capacity. Wow. Very easy to just take a snooze. So you throw either a couple of grandkids up here. You got it. Or when the husband, you know, just taking up all the blankets. That's right. If, if, he, if he's in the doghouse, kick him up front. Sounds good. Get out of here. Get so out of here. This is where Ian would be. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> Every night. No, just <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. I love right? this feature because in a lot of classes, they do have the bunk bed, but it's yep. like right above where you, you know, so it's, it is a small space, kind of like this when yes. you drive. So yep. to have the open space when you drive, but to yep. have this option. Exactly. So wow. I don't know about you, Nelly, but I think I think the people, I think the customers picked an excellent one this week with the Hurricane 33X. Now, let's say they want to choose for next week because they got to see what was this week. Do you remember how they choose for next week? All they got to do is, let's see, text you RVS. No, no. What? Is, which one is it? Hold on. Hold on. RV. They have to follow us. Social media. They got to follow us on social media. On Facebook. That on way Facebook. they can vote, right? Facebook, Twitter. That way you guys can vote. Make sure you get it in. I think the cutoff is... They have to be registered to vote, right? Yes. Okay, yes. so yes. they do have to text your RVS. Absolutely. Yes, to register. 46642. You got it. That will also register okay. them for giveaways, which we have a lot of giveaways this week, folks. We've been giving away RVs every week. If you want to get your hands on one, make sure you get registered. Make sure you vote so you know what you get to see next week. We'll walk through it, Nelly. Thank you so much. Great pick, folks, on the 33X.
From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. My name is Dan McKinsey. This is my wife, Lindsay. We're full-time RVers. We're in Breckenridge, Colorado, doing some winter camping. First five years of our marriage, we just traveled as much as we could. When we traveled, I just felt alive. I couldn't find that same feeling in anything else that I did. And we were in a small mountain town in North Carolina, and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. We were having an amazing weekend together, and she just looked at me and she said, I don't want to go back. We have to figure out a way to make this something we can do. What if we could travel full time, take our house with us, take, take our, our dogs, dogs with us. But even when she said it, that seemed crazy. We started realizing that there was actually a community out there of other people from all different walks of life, all different yeah. age groups that were doing it. And then we just kind of said, we're doing it. We had done so much international travel, we had kind of neglected America. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so once we started exploring America, we just fell in love. We have found a whole new happiness that I never knew we could find. Every place offers something different and unique and we literally fall in love with every place we go because there's just different culture and different um, attractions that we can check out. We really enjoy going to breweries at every place that we go. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of our favorite pastimes. We love, you know, checking out the dog parks and taking our dogs on hikes. Ice you know? fish. Ice fish, yeah. We're, we're going to try. Yeah, <laughs> that's another thing about RVing and the lifestyle is that you don't have to have a plan. Yeah. Like a lot of RVers you talk to, they'll, you ask, where are you going next? And everyone's like, I don't know, we might go here, we might go there. You can chase the weather and enjoy the seasons in the summer, or you know you can do winter camping. Coming back to Colorado in the winter is an awesome opportunity for us. Parks that we like to visit actually have less people during the winter. And then when we get really cold and we're tired of the snow, we can just head out, head out. and go chase a little bit warmer weather. I think the thing that probably surprised us the most about RVing was the community. But through the internet and through social media, I can't even believe how many friends that we've made and all the connections and the community that's out there that supports you. It's pretty incredible. It's so nice just to be around like-minded people and the friendships that we're building are lifelong friendships because we just share this unique bond. We call it our RV family because that's exactly what it feels like. The first risk that, like big risk that we took in our lives that led to a lot of other cool, exciting risks that we're taking now. We literally have a home on wheels, a traveling home. We don't live out of a suitcase like we used to when we would travel and take road trips. We've got everything with us and home really is where you park it. <laughs> and we just feel like we have the best of both worlds, really, our adventure lifestyle, but also the comforts of home. We're going to call this the hard to believe section. First of all, <laughs> hard to believe that Ian, we're going to thaw him out, get him ready for day number two. The end of day one is already over. I mean, Where hard to believe. Right? Oh, holy cow. Hard to believe that I'm standing on this stage because of the weather that has gripped our, our nation <laughs> yeah. and most of America is frozen right now. I, I By a miracle, I am in Wichita, Kansas, but I'm so glad to be with the Jurgies, uh, Bryce and Nellie, and of yep. course... The Flippin' Tilbies! Oh, yeah. I love Renee and Sean and all their families, and this is what it's all about, getting you ready 
to get out on the road because it's almost RV season. A lot of people we just saw like to do a little winter camping as well. You know what? We proved that you can make it. You can make it. If we can survive a winter vortex... So can you, folks. Yep. That's right. So can you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, somebody's going to win an RV before yeah, this weekend is all said and done. We, do we, have, we don't have a winner yet, do we? Uh, no, that would be day three. <laughs> day oh, three. So, <laughs> you guys still have a chance. we got a lot of stuff we're giving away still. Make sure you're registered. That's right. Make sure you're registered. And how to do that is text URVS to 46642. Get in on the fun. You're already here. You're already watching. Might as well win. You know what? I like winning a lot, especially when you guys are around. (laughs) A lot more to do. A lot more retail segments. Love the must-haves today with you guys. awesome. And the customer choice today was awesome. More of that tomorrow. More excitement. Day two. It's week eight. And we're just getting started with this crazy weekend. So I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you tomorrow right back here. Thank you so much.